eventually here. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Bitches. Let's go and do the official intro. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Thesis, a.k.a. Thesis himself from Vaping with Thesis. That's right. God bless it. Now, look, mm, we got the Orion right here sent out by your Ninja Kitty, greatest and the finest, E-Rock. E-Rock, go ahead and introduce yourself, son. Yo, what's going on, man? Mm. You liking it? I'm in love with it, bro. <laughs> I'm in love with it. Let me, let me give a huge shout out to my sponsor, Milwaukee Tools. Much appreciation for uh, sponsoring the channel. $120,000 a day. Thank you guys so much. All, <laughs> all the free tools I could ever handle. I appreciate it. Also, huge shout out to my other sponsor, GoPro and KTM Dirt Bikes. Man, you're going to try, ain't you? You're going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. If I'm going to go for it, I'm going for the biggest. Also, Apple, thank you for sending out the X, the XS Max. Appreciate that shit. Could not, uh, couldn't be happier with the phone. <laughs> Especially seeing as mine is currently broken. No. E-Rock, what do you, uh, let's see. Have you seen the uh, the fucking new iPhones, bro? Have you seen those bitches? My, my buddy rubbed it in my face today, man. He got the new XS Max and brought it to work. Just to show it to me. Oh, is it dope? Man, honestly, it's just like the 10. Yep. It's taller. I've got the 10, but it's I want that taller. fucking Max. It's just taller, man. Nah, but the, the Max is a 6.5, though, I thought. Yeah, but believe it or not, it's the same width as this. It's just taller. Nah. uh Yes. So it's easier to fit in the pocket, then. That's what you're trying to tell me. I don't know about all that, yo. It <laughs> seems like it'd be easier to sit in, to fit in the pocket. Where's the where's the chat? Where's the chat? Let's see. Hello, beauty, Lisa. How's it going, Sonny? Lisa, beauty, Ellen. beauty like in the face. Guys. If you guys haven't done so, like the live stream. Um, so right now, I've got several videos videos uploading because tomorrow again I will not be um, live. We will be not home. Let's see. I've got three videos. Let's see. Where are they? We've got the Hammer God. Um, we've that. I think that drops on Sunday, and then we got the Black Unicorn Tobacco lineup. Holy fuck, the pistachio. Oh my good god. It is it put it this way. If someone said you can no longer have your daily vape, ice ice is gone out the window, what would you vape? Pistachio tobacco by black unicorn and descendants. It's got this beautiful menthol. Oh fucking Eric, I'm telling you, some somebody sold their soul for that fucking recipe for liquid. Somebody <laughs> sold their fucking soul for it. Because that shouldn't taste that good. Pistachio menthol tobacco sounds like somebody vomited at a fucking frat party. It does. And let me tell you something. Whoever licked that vomit up is a goddamn genius. You know, and they had it at ECC in Ontario, and I didn't try it just because it didn't sound like something that would be good together. Bro, I didn't know it was a menthol vape. If some, if they were to be like, hey, we're sending out this menthol because we know you like menthol, and I saw the word pistachio, I probably wouldn't have tried it either. I would have been like, hey, I appreciate it. Thanks, but no thanks. Had I not gone and just went in thinking it's going to be just a pistachio tobacco, which sounds like it could be okay, then I probably wouldn't have tasted it. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm not bullshitting. They, they're they not paying me to say good things about the... Because the tobacco is not just generally not my favorite liquid. It's just not. Although that is what got me to quit is menthol tobacco by uh, Simply Vapor Menthol. Yeah, Simply Vapor 24 milligram menthol from Minnesota. Phenomenal, phenomenal. What did you? What did? Uh, what was the first liquid you you first uh, started vaping? Oh, good God, man! This is back in the day with the the, the twist and everything else, man. Uh, I, you know what? I can't even remember. It was some Chinese that tasted like crap. Uh oh, oh, isn't that sweet, dude, man? Dude, water. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, this, I'm, I'm a waterholic. I fucking drink gallons a day. I fucking, yeah. I, I piss ex excellence, as it were. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Hold on, I have but to no, get off. Man. Oh, yeah, keep talking. But no, I, I tell you what, I, 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 I thoroughly enjoy all these products that come out, all these juice companies, because it's done nothing but make them all better, man. Nothing but make them better. My favorite of all time right now is Humble makes a Havana line. They got one called Vanilla Bourbon Tobacco. Oh, that sounds good as fuck. Dude, man. I feel the way I feel that way about that one that you seem to react to this pistachio one. Mm -hmm. but 
I'm going to try that. Is that what Matter you got to Ryan? Consider it done. I'm going to – no, 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 no. Uh, because the Orion, I'm rocking a, a 70 milligram salt. 70? Yeah, 70 menthol. Ooh. Right here. Let's see. Bam. Come on, focus, you motherfucker. There it is. Oh, Mr. Salty. One. Yeah. Yeah. Is this one the 71? I think this is the 71. No, no, no. This is a 25, and I mixed it with my own Nick. I've got my own Nick, plus Nick. <laughs> that shit gets harsh as fuck, though. I'm a, I like harsh. When I vape, I like that shit to feel like someone's got a a, a steel wool Yo, in the back of my throat. When you when you when you press that fire button, what what color is the light? Whoa. Excuse me. The color is beautiful white iridescent. Weird. All right. Press it a couple more times till you see red, and then take a hit. I just go okay. Purple. Now it's got blue, and then the red. How many times do I press it? Just press it once and it'll change colors. Just press it again and it'll change color. Don't hold it in. Just press it real quick. Okay. Blue. Yep. One more time. It should be red. <clears throat> or it might look like purple. I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? Out of a pod system? Yes. Oh, that's the adjustability on this bitch. Yeah, now go go back to the white. You're going to love this, man. Go back to the white. Get you a good hit to where you like it. Holy fuck. I don't even need to use salt in here. All right. You like okay, that white? Hit? Yeah, that's white. All right. You like that hit? Press and hold that button in until it turns green. <sighs> Wait a second. Replay, bitch. Replay. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Red is some shit not to fuck with, bro. That red goes hard. Oh my God. White. <laughs> I might have to fill this with pistachio. <laughs> I, I, bro, if I fucking send you a bottle, will you will you drink drink it? Will you fucking vape it? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'll rub it over, I'll rub it all over my body, I'll brother. Rub it all over your body. It's zero, Nick. So it's it's perfectly fine. And you know why? Because why? I'm dead sexy, and you're crap. And you're crap, and I'm dead sexy. I'm dead sexy. Bro, so I found out that craft beers, if you let them sit for a little while. Those bitches, the thug life. That's my ninja. What's good, bro? Uh, William D. Robinson, my booty face. Let's see. Uh, Ray Lopez, what's good, my ninja kitty? Do not forget to hit the like button. You motherfuckers are not on it tonight. Get on this tonight. This is the ninja militia. We are together. We are a fucking team. We're a fucking team. We're the dream team. Teamwork, make the dream work, son. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna calm my nipples down. I still got the sickies. I'm still trying to get over this fucking cold. Go away from me. Scoozy. Beauty says she's just chilling. Chilling like a villain. Kick back like a cat like a full flat. Let's get the deep voice. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, you know, I won't, be, I won't be too far away from you uh, come next weekend. Oh, well, come over. Where are you, where are you going? Uh, I say not too far, but it's still a good distance. I'll be in Cincinnati. Cincinnati's only eight hours, I think. I think St. Louis is only eight hours. I think it's <clears> 10. Cincinnati to Louis. Drive time. Yeah, 10 hours. How do you know that? Because I don't uh, know. <laughs> oh, so, uh, <laughs> so next weekend, fuck, I think I'll be live on Vape Stew um, on uh, Tenacious's channel on Friday. How, and Saturday, if I leave at from Vape Stew at, say, 2 o'clock in the morning, I could be to you by noon the next day, take a three-hour nap till 3 p.m., kick it for six hours, and be back in time for the live stream. And that's how you roll. That's how I roll. I don't <laughs> fuck around. Bro, I'm used to driving 24 hours to El Paso, Texas in one shot. No sleep. We stop for gas, and that's it. Man, uh, you just... I'll just say then you probably don't want to drink anything out of the Mountain Dew bottles in the car. Oh, my God. I got a story for you. <laughs> so back back in the hardcore music days, uh, one of my recording artists, Sweet Ave, good dude. Uh, Good artist, good artist. Uh, 
and then who else was it? It was Doug Ferry as well, one of our one of our best friends. Um, you know, Josh on the weekends on Saturday. Yeah. So it's me, it's me and Josh's mutual best friend. It's how me and Josh met was, was through Doug. So and me and Doug have known each other since we were 14. We fucking hated each other. when we, I wanted to fight him so bad, and he wouldn't fight me because he didn't fight at the time. And he's a big fucking white dude, like a corn-fed, big old blonde hair, just fucking monster mountain of a man. Um. And when I was younger, I just wanted to find the biggest dude. Just like, what the fuck? You got something to say, bro? And then it turns out that we hated each other. And then 60 seconds later, it turns out we love each other. But that's how it usually happens. We became best friends. Long story short, we're in the car. And we had been fairly inebriated. Although yeah. I, I, will say, I will say, on a scale of 1 to 10, we were probably a solid 5. And... He had Merrick had or Sweet Ave had purchased me a tea, a simply tea. And I, I tell you, man, the day was a good day. But I'm like I said, I drink con- not alcohol, but water. Like I drink water constantly. Like I fucking always need water by me. Didn't yeah. have any water. We're sitting there freestyling. When I say we're inebriated, I don't mean we're drinking. I mean mm-hmm. we we are hip hop artists at the finest. So we're freestyling. By this point, I have cotton mouth. To the point where I just need to put something in my mouth. I said, fuck it. I'm going to grab that that sweet tea, and I'm going to fucking down it. I find the bottle in the back of his Grand Prix. I unscrew the cap, and I begin taking a sip. Oh. About three seconds later, the, <laughs> amount, the amount of vomit <laughs> to uric acid <laughs> ratio begins to <laughs> melt. And that's when... They're like, what, 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 what's going on? And I throw the bottle of Simply P to the front seat. <laughs> and they begin doing what you're doing. And they laugh to the point <laughs> where they can't drive anymore. Hey, so, I'm, yeah. I'm not uh, laughing with you, but at you. <laughs> exactly. And that, <laughs> man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The, when your friends look at you and they're laughing so hard and the only thing that can come out of their mouth is, hey, at least P is sterile. <laughs> it's not it's not a good cherry on top for the nighttime. It's just not. You ever drink pee, bro? Uh, I have it. It's uh, terrible. It's disgusting. Uh, Wasn't on no, purpose. I what? I tell you what, and this is a perfect example of why uh I don't know if anybody else ever done this, but back when you used to smoke, sometimes you have a little Coca-Cola can or you know, whatever you're drinking. Oh and, fuck. And there's one time man i put like two or three out and then same deal it was hot that day and i'm like oh man i just need something to drink i grabbed that can without even thinking took one swig and let's just say pizza and tequila don't taste good coming back up oh good god bro yeah <laughs> so uh the the lesson i learned with that one was i was i couldn't have been older than my 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 youngest son who's five and i walk into my parents room they're watching a newbie. I'm not trying to interrupt. I and this, uh, my mom smoked. I grab a Coke because my mom's always got a Coke. Not anymore, thank God. But at the time, <laughs> and I start. I don't know why. And this is why I fucking. Mandy's got a weird thing. Well, no, I, I've got a weird thing, and Mandy doesn't like. I smell everything before I drink it or eat it, and this is why. Because at that age, I went to fucking chug an ashtray coca-cola ashtray and that's what i did and the only thing to this day i remember is it was spicy and it was throw up i threw up everywhere j rob what's good bro so ever shane smith that's my baby Shane. south florida kush chew spit bottle yeah you oh my god i almost just threw up oh dude don't do that bro. i'd rather drink two fucking bottles of piss and an ashtray over a fucking chew spit bottle god bless it what's up shane i can't do it hold on up shane there we go that's what it was no talking about two two spit when i was let's just say i I wasn't of age yet but i I had done some drinking with some friends and i was like oh shit man i gotta get home you know it's it's like real late and one of my buddies his older brother said you know what here man you need to try some of this stuff and it was dip oh fuck now I didn't want to look uncool, right? So I, I take some, I put it under my, you know, my lip like you're supposed to, 
I hop on my 10 speed and I'm racing hard as hell to get home. Now, what I didn't know because I was young was that you were supposed to spit the stuff, not swallow. Oh, fuck. So it's a sandlot. I got, I got this mixture of like three or four different brands of beers in my belly. Dip spit going down in there. And let's just say I made it one block from the house. And uh, yeah, it, it, what, I, there was no hiding what I'd been doing because. No, fuck no. I smoked, a, I had to have smoked a, everything. Uh, yeah, it, it, it wasn't good. That's fucking, bro. I, same here, though. Like, uh, so my brother and I, the way we, the way. <laughs> oh, Kimmy. Yo, yo. Kimmy, where's Kimmy? Oh, Kimmy. Testing. Can you guys hear me? I can hear me. I mean, you. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing? Hey, you rock. Hey, Kimmy. And hello, Nas. <laughs> and I love, I've got to turn you down. Let's see. I'm okay. Still, I'm yeah. still sick of you. Although I gotta say your fucking audio is fantastic comparative to what it was previously. Yeah, I just for you, I went and got my hotspot, loaded it up with data just oh, for you, Naz. Oh, just for you. You're adorbs. No uh, guarantees that that's gonna be any better for video quality, though. It could, it could be. Your video looks decent. It looks decent as fuck right now. No Jesus. complaints. Good. What up? They do okay. love who? She's Obviously, she loves you. See, she went out and got data just for you. Oh, you're adorable. Oh, Seuss is here, my brother Zados. Let's see. Uh, what up, Kimmy? Uh, Christine, as I typed it, LOL, Kimmy. <laughs> oh, shit. Shane, Shane's got magic. He can summon vapor viewers. He's like, where's Kimmy? And she joined. This motherfucker's <laughs> got some summoning powers. He's got some summoning powers. Shane, you're fucking scary, dog. Don't. Oh, wait. Can you just ask where the million dollars at? Hey, where's that million bucks at? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and check. But Kimmy, Kimmy, yes, Kimmy, yes, Kimmy, yes, Kimmy, <laughs> Kimmy. How are yes. things? I just want to give everyone a real, a real, uh, real quick warning. Uh, so but we had no power last night at all. The tornadoes touched down. They fucked up the town. Uh, the our town next to us. It literally, like I can see the fucking town is in a state of emergency. We were super fucking blessed. Thank all you guys last night for hitting me up. E-Rock, thank you. Um, everyone on the Patreon page hitting me up. Um, what were we getting at? Oh, yes. Yeah, so our house was just fine. Like I said, a couple shingles here and there and a couple of little piddly-ass branches. Um, hold on a second. Ray Lopez, where's that thesis already? It's coming, my ninja. You fucking motivated my ass today. Um, although the in-law's house, it got pretty, it got hit decently. A um, couple of farms, a couple of people have lost their farms. A couple of people lost their houses and fires and shit from the tornadoes. And I, we just found the pictures of last night's fucking tornado. Fucking thing was huge, monster. But the weird thing is I found out that the straight line winds are way stronger than a tornado. I had yeah. no idea. So the straight line winds last night is what caused 80% of the damage. And the tornado did the other 20. Who knew? Yeah, that, that, that ain't no joke, brother. Shit's nuts. Kim, E. Mm. Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> Iraq, meet Kimmy. Kimmy, meet Iraq. Y'all met before? In chats. We yeah, met. Yeah. Um, oh, so I recently found out that craft beers, if you don't drink them right away, the, thank you so much, Michaela. Um, uh, yes, campfire stream last night. I started on fire. If you weren't there to see it, go skip to like 55 minutes in. <laughs> That's real life. So um, craft beer, if you let the fucking shit sit, it develops a yeast cake at the bottom of the bottle. And I didn't realize that was normal. So I was freaking out because I went to drink a beer the other day and I started getting this gobbly... It, it was like if you can imagine what solidified cum would look and feel like. <laughs> oh, you, why'd you go there? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, if you can imagine a yeast infection on a, <laughs> on a right, female right, and it's like cottage yeah. cheese but thicker chunks. I knew you were going to bring cottage cheese into it. I knew. <laughs> so I'm just being, I'm being completely honest here. That's what it was like and it was fucking terrible. So I'm starting to Google shit like, am I going to die from a yeast infection? Uh, drinking out of a beer bottle and it turned oh well, i didn't know it was yeast and it turns out that they're like no 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 
just you'll be fine even if you do drink it like but you just tap it on the table and you roll it hey you want to know something else important what? did you know that if you pour kerosene on your shorts and put <laughs> it, it'll actually light <laughs> yeah you know what i don't want to talk about it <laughs> oh, Kimmy, well, you're, scarred, you're scarred for life now what's up no nah, mentally mentally i'm scarred as fuck bro what you know about it? it hurts my feelings no, you know what? The first time it was funny. When she did it intentionally, that shit was hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kimmy, Mandy started me on fire last night. She was what? She started me on fire last night. Oh. Yeah, real life. Real life with the kerosene lantern from the 1930s. Was this after? I must. It must have been after I went to bed. Was it live or it was when you guys? Oh no, live? it was fucking live. It was everyone's. Must it. have been after I went to bed then, because when I was there, she was all being sweet and innocent, sitting back on the couch, That's reading that comments. That's that game she plays, Kimmy. She plays that. She plays that bullshit. <laughs> it upsets me. I'm like, you need to let, you need to let these fucking people know that you are a menace to society. Let me Yo, see. Here, man. Black China, what's good, big money? He says. Oh, that, that smart water looks good. I got y'all try that dumb water. Hey, hey, brother. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm posing. This is uh like Tahoe Springs water inside of a smart water bottle. Hey, let me tell you a story about the frat house. So when we used to invite chicks over, um, Josh could attest to this too. So what we used to do is we bought two bottles. We paid full price, bought two bottles of Grey Goose. After those two bottles of Grey Goose were gone, we would fill it with Kharkov, aka car crash. And no one would fucking know the difference. And we were always the two dopest motherfuckers at the parties. We show up with bottles of Grey Goose and we would let people chug them. We'd go back out of the truck and fill it up with more car crash. Ooh, good Grey Goose, man. I got some memories behind that shit. It's fake egg Grey Goose. It's it's Karkov poured into a Grey Goose bottle. No, I know. I'm just saying yeah. I got actual memories behind real Grey Goose. Really? We were kids. We couldn't afford fucking Grey Goose. Let me hear the memory. Kimmy, what's your worst me- favorite, your f- worst favorite memory on Grey Goose? <laughs> My worst favorite memory on Grey Goose? Oh, gosh. Grey Goose. I'd say I was... 19 and was drinking gray goose vodka and ice water that's delicious like chasing it with ice water yeah and uh (laughs) what happened i tried to go shot for shot with my my guy friends and i made i mean i weighed like 90 pounds and they weighed like 200 pounds so i was trying to go shot for shot and every was thing was fine like i was sitting in the chair shot for shot and with them until i stood up to go to the bathroom and what the fuck that was it then it was done it was over i hit the ground do you just not remember anything no, I shit, vomited, all of it, all at once. Oh, I, girl. I vomited and shit myself and peed myself. And, like, I was a mess. And my friends had to, like, carry me to the bathtub. And they were drunk, so they literally just threw me into the bathtub and left me there. Girls can't. They were like, there you go. Girls can't. <laughs> <come up. laughs> you asked what was my best, worst memory. And I say that's my best, worst memory Cause I didn't really drink after that. Like socially I'd have a couple, like just one or two, but I never after that did shots or anything like that. So it was a very valuable learning lesson. We all have those. We all have those. I still say my hospital one. I still haven't heard of a, a much better aside from Burt Kreischer, but like I haven't heard much better ones than getting falling off a two story balcony, getting a blowjob and then surviving. Uh, yeah, what? That, that's that's yeah, that's got mind beat. I appreciate it, bro. I had to work hard for that one. <laughs> I had to work hard. I had to like, I don't know, live, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> live, and then wake up and not remember what happened until I see the hospital bracelet on my hand. Oh, man. Kimmy, what the fuck is so important that we're texting? I'm sharing all of your the link to your live show to all of my social media. Oh, oh. All right. I'm slow. 
I'm All trying right. to get I'm trying to get my Kimmy fans over here to give All you right. some support. Can we give the Kimmys uh, a name? I don't know. Yeah, we don't have a name for my subscribers. Uh, the Kim Stoppables or the Kim the Kim Possibles. Uh, K Possibles. The K Beers. Nah, man, Kim Possibles yeah. are dope. Yeah. Kim Possible. Kim, I know it's already copyrighted. Special case. It's copyrighted. We Trust me, the, that we was the first one. We could do the special case. The special K vapes. The special case. The special case. The special case. <laughs> do you guys remember Special Ed? What the fuck was his name? Was that Special Ed? Yay. From Crank Cake. Yay. Yeah, yay. Yay. That fucking shit is hilarious. I got pizza. I got pizza. Yay. I, yay. <laughs> Oh fuck! That shit is amazing. Look, I got Manny's eyelashes in the studio. Oh, not oh. again, man! Not again. What? I think her shit went dead. No, nope, I'm here. Sorry, oh. I, my daughter off camera needed me. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, you, you got? You got a daughter? Yep, I have. I actually like have two seven kids. kids. Oh. <laughs> Like yeah, three kids. of them are with Nas. Yeah, she, y'all <laughs> Sorry, don't know. Mandy. It's a, Mandy, it is a, I don't mean it, Mandy. Much it's a, respect. It's an open relay. It's a. It's what happens in open relationships. You have seventeen children, and it's a. It's a beautiful commune. Some people call it a cult, but it's a commune. <laughs> and as long as, you're living, had, as long as you, <laughs> had, you have to <laughs> adhere to thesis as guidelines, actually my rules. And as long as you do that, life is happy. You know, That's I think it. they just call that being Mormon. <laughs> hey, I, I told Mandy when we first met. I'm like, look, I'm real interested in Mormon Mormonism. <laughs> and she's like, that's fine. We could do Mormon. I'm like, all right. I'll tell you the truth. I'm real interested in in in, in uh, plural wives, which was that was uh, that was a conversation that I would just like. You know what? We're gonna pick this up elsewhere. Do what? Yeah, she's. Uh, my wife said that would be a deal breaker. You know, you you think it would, you think, but after you've been together for so long, and they no longer want to give blowjobs, I'm like, well, think about the positives here. You don't have to give blowjobs. I can get a new one who loves to do that. Yo, I, man. Yo. What? Twenty three years. Still, brother. Still. Still. I need. Can you talk to Mandy for me? <laughs> Can you talk to her because that was that was a part of our contract when we first when we first met. Oh, contract, yeah, uh, bro. I, you th look at my, look at me. You see my eyes? I'm dead fucking serious. Dead serious. That was the contingency. That was the that was the that was the that was the that mm -hmm. was the deal. That was the fucking deal. I'm like, look, I will leave every female I'm with for you. Well, I'm curious. So I'm curious if she made the deal for the blowjobs, what did you offer her in return? Me. My my, <laughs> my mahogany. My nah, mahog double standards there. <laughs> no, my, my I offered no no no. I I'll I'll fucking eat it all day long nonstop. From oh, the time yeah. I wake up, from the time I I fucking sit on my face, lady. Mm, all day long. Hell yeah. All day long. Sit on my face and make it hurt. That's all I can say. Eat it the why, brother. Eat it the why. It's right, dude. Fucking, I don't understand dudes who are like, ew, I don't eat pussy. Well, you fucking, you little old pansy ass bitch. You got, fuck out of here. I'll eat it shit, fucking like wonton soup. <laughs> now, hold up now. There are some occasions, I will be honest, dude. Uh, let's just say before I met my wife, love you, honey. Uh, when I was in the military, I, I did date a girl where, let's just put it this way, man. If I can smell it by the time I get to the belly button, it ain't nope. going to happen. Nope. Nope. Happen. Nope. I have been. I <laughs> so if you ask if you ask some of the roommates, the old roommates, and you ask how many times a, a girl has walked out the bedroom upset, and I have walked out with blue balls because I'm I just tell them you know what, I'm not doing it. Not so only am I, I not doing, I will not. If it's if it even remotely smells like a red lobster, get the fuck out of here. The least you can do is is. That's I, I'm a clean motherfucker. I if I know I'm good, I'm about to make love and I have access to a shower, I will go downtown with some steel wool. You feel Thank me? You. So Kimmy, <laughs> did you did you know you're signing up for all that? <laughs> <laughs> she knows exactly what she's signing up for. Every time she knows. <laughs> Kimmy! Kimmy! <laughs> 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 
Rob Wiggles knows, I'm just man. Just an infant bystander. Had no idea. Didn't see it coming. Oh, Kimmy. <laughs> You saw it coming like giving birth. It was a nine-month warning. You feel me? <laughs> it's get the fuck out of here with that. I, I didn't see it coming. How about the last three times we've gone live? <laughs> right? Right? Yep. Yep. Uh, so let me tell you guys how um, I got my brother to meet his his uh, short-term girlfriend. And it wasn't even me. It was actually my uncle, but I convinced my brother. Where is it? Let me see. I can tell you right here, right now. Okay, here it goes. You see this right here? Let me go ahead and get the camera to focus. Oh, excuse me, I burped all over my face. Right there, you see that? What is that? Right there. Tell me. That's a bolt. That's a no, close. It's a screw. Yeah, well, yeah. And then you hand it to her, and he's like, want a screw? And he dropped it in her hand. And they dated for six months. That's right. That Gross. shit works. That shit works. My wife, April the 14th, and we got married May 13th. The way what? I met her April 14th, got married May 13th. April, but what? In two months? Yeah, yeah I pro- no, less than a month. Uh, I proposed to her within seven days of meeting her. Um, We had our first kid a year after the day we met. <clears throat> That's not true. That's not true. If we met around October, end of October, her birthday is Halloween, October 31st. So that means we had to have met right soon after, or soon before. Um, and then the little Nas was born the following December. That was pretty quick. That was pretty quick. And before that, we already had moved in together. Yeah, well, ours was fucking quick as fuck, too. It was super quick. I was, yeah, that's fucking crazy. Kimmy, what is your life story? Oh, gosh. It's been a rough month. It's been a rough month. Like, really. I don't know. Let's, that's for my channel because I don't think you want all of Kimmy out here on your channel. <laughs> oh, we, we can handle it all. Can we, Thesis? We can handle it. I was going to say, uh, there's, there, are, there are things that you can say that not only won't surprise me that I've probably experienced at the same time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not. My problems aren't anything special. They ain't anything anybody else went through. Um, right, no, no like it's been really a crazy month though. So get this. So first off, I have generalized anxiety disorder, diagnosed since I was four years old, on and off medication for it. Um, about a month and a half ago, I decided it's time to go off the anxiety, and you'll relate to this. It was time to go off the medication because. One of the, and this is messed up because it's like, it's called an antidepressant or an anti-anxiety pill, but one of the main s- side effects of those are sexual function, reduced libido. Fuck you want to give somebody, you want to give somebody anxiety or depression, take away their damn sex drive when they're in a relationship because that's going to make stuff really difficult. But when you need it, you need it. You got to kind of weigh the pros and the cons and what do you need more right now? Sex or your shit straight? So I had to get my shit straight for a little bit. Well, I decided a month and a half ago to titrate back off my anxiety medication because I have the type of anxiety that um, I get panic attacks a lot. And at the height, when it's the worst, I'll have 10 to 20 panic attacks a day. Holy and shit. anybody out there that has anxiety or panic attack disorders knows there's no controlling it. It's not like you can just say, okay, this is a panic attack. It's a chemical imbalance that fully takes over your body and makes your brain go into fight or flight mode. So you don't have control over it. Now there are coping skills and things that you learn to recognize the warnings that a panic attack is coming. But once you're in a panic attack, it's very, very hard to stop one. I got, uh, I got something good for you, Kimmy. What's up? I had the same problem. It's a medicine called Buspar. It's for anxiety, because I got medically induced anxiety disorder for my heart conditions and, and the medication. And it actually helps with the sexual libido. Hmm. How much? Maybe Mandy should. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nas, you go, you're going to be in the doghouse. If I was Mandy, 
Hey, I'm, you know what? I'm bring a stick you, down there and just uh, 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 maybe you'll have enough hand. privacy to jerk off then. Just saying. Hashtag motherfucker. <laughs> but anyway, so that happened right as I tried to go off my anxiety medication. I came down with the flu for two and a half weeks. Hold on, PS Mandy's fucking amazing. Okay. That's how I say that. Yes. All right, definitely. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> she puts up with me. That's a lot to ask for. I got over the flu and I came down with pneumonia, um, severe enough that it hospitalized me. I got over the pneumonia and now I have vertigo and I've had vertigo for seven days. Holy and if shit. anybody has ever had vertigo, equate it to be having the side effects of like too, being too drunk without having drank any alcohol. The dizziness, disorientation, your equilibrium's off, blurry vision. Uh, difficulty with your me like your memory, you're like you're always fuzzy, trying to find the words that you know, but you can't say them. Yeah. Nausea, vomiting, all of that. I've had that for seven days now. My doctor looked at me and said, it's possible you, if it's just vertigo for some people, if there's no other underlying conditions, for some people, it's a day. Some people, it's a year. Some people, it's a lifetime. And there's no cure. And there's no real drug treatment. There's things that you can kind of help. Dramamine for nausea, different medications. But with each of those medications comes a side effect. So needless to say, I am, I am like, no could, more. I just want to be done. <laughs> could, could, it, could it be... Uh... The withdrawals from getting off your anxiety meds? Well, that's something um, we looked at, and none of the main side effects or anything list that as a symptom. Now, there are short-term side effects where you can get dizziness, but all of the other symptoms that I'm having aren't listed, but does not mean that it can't be withdrawal from the medication. So that's why we got, she wants to take the wait and see approach, which is kind of scary because she told me when I had the flu, I went to her after two weeks cause I felt something in my right lung. I felt like a, a feeling like a, you know, if you've accidentally inhaled some water, that's yeah. what I felt. And she listened and she said, Nope, I think it's strictly viral. You're good. Go home. Four days later, I was hospitalized with severe pneumonia in my right lung. She could have easily, when I told her I felt something in my lung, all she would have had to do was order a chest x-ray and I would have immediately been diagnosed and it wouldn't elevated to severe pneumonia. It would have, they could have caught it sooner and saved me a lot of pain and recovery time. That's fucking So insane. I'm kind of mad at her that she wants me now to play the wait and see with this vertigo. I'm like, no, nah, let's just start checking boxes. Like, like, let's rule out this, rule out that, you know. We did rule out a sinus or an ear infection. Um, but it does it doesn't mean there isn't something wrong with my ears. It doesn't mean that there's something not something wrong with my eyes. It doesn't mean that there isn't something neurologically wrong because there's a lot vertigo is a symptom of a lot of neurological problems. Um, it, it just yeah. So it's been a rough. I know month. a lot of it has to do with the inner ear. Um, yeah. And being an audio engineer, I've one of the biggest things that we studied. The first things that we studied the first fucking semester, second semester, was um, the inner ear. And I don't remember this, the bone. I don't remember the bone names, but the cochlear, the cochlear. The cochlear you have your stirrups. You have the stirrups. The, well, the, cochlear, uh, the cochlear, the, the little baby one, one too. Yeah. Um, specifically, if that's looks like balance, a snail shell. Yeah, yeah. If, if that's off balance or if it's ever like um, what is it called? Hold on, I've got a cough. If it's ever, what the fuck is the word? Of, uh, fuck, we use it in carpentry all the time. A shit. If it's ever shimmed, equilibrium or if, well, if it's ever no. shimmed, if it's ever shimmed by like a piece of even a tiny piece of earwax, um, yeah. mm -hmm. that can cause it too. And, and I know that's one of the symptoms, but a lot of times mm -hmm. people with hearing damage will have vertigo symptoms with the with the ringing. And that's why yeah, so see, I have tinnitus. I've had tinnitus for 10 years. At right. first, it was really hard to accept. And I never, but over time, and tinnitus can be caused by a couple different things. My specific version of tinnitus is 
caused by the um, the breaking and deteriorating of the follicles, the little hair-like follicles. That's what the that's the, what that's the cilia. That sound the cilia. That yeah, the sound yeah. travels over that, and that's what creates those sound. Yeah, so, so when those my become tinnitus, damaged, it's a, it's your brain trying to make up for the for not being able to hear the sound, so it'll have different pitches. Yep. But nine times out of ten, it's somewhere upwards in the sometimes in the four hundred um, or excuse me, the six hundred kilohertz range. And when you hit that like six, that six hundred, that's like vocal, and it's that's when it becomes hard to hear people sometimes. That's yes, that's yeah. where mine is. Yeah. So I'm without earbuds in, you know, and and it's sad because with earbuds, earbuds can further cause problems. No. But... So here, here's real quick. I want to give a shout, uh, Isotune. So I've been I, like I said, being an audio engineer since I was a kid. Um, I've been using ear protection my whole life. I'm deathly like at, if I were to develop hearing damage, it's like I was throwing $20 bills out the window. I need my hearing to produce music, uh, whether it be for myself or other people. That's like my, my base. So I've protected it with ISO tunes, headphones. Again, huge shout out to them. They do sponsor the channel. Huge shout out to you guys. Um, but they're my, they're Bluetooth headphones, but they're OSHA approved negative 25 decibels um, in studios, in, in professional multi-million dollar studios. This isolation booth right here behind my finger, the, 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 the accepted noise level or noise floor is 23 decibels. These will bring it down to 25. So almost when you put these in your ears, these are roughly equivalent close to several decibels off of a professional recording studio uh, isolation booth. So that's why when when you're talking about earbuds, these also have a volume limit. The volume limit will not allow to be above uh, the threshold of pain or the threshold of damage, which is 82 decibels. Wow. I really yeah. need to look into those. They're I really phenomenal. do. Yeah. They're also OSHA approved, which is super dope. So with, but, the, yeah. with, with all the, with the verdict, I'm curious about that because we've all experienced vertical when we've been, we've had the spins right um which is horrible which is i mean i'll give you a good example now like especially now that i'm i feel like i'm old and shit if i just have a couple of drinks two three like hard drinks and the next thing you know i'm at a concert and we have six i'll get the fucking spins even if i'm not like really bad like not bad drunk just like just mm -hmm. you know just loose and then you go to close your eyes and all of a sudden the whole fucking room is spinning i'm assuming that's similar right not the same, but similar. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like the first three days of my vertigo, I spent with my head in the toilet. Oh, my because God. Because you, I mean, it's like, you know, spinning around on a merry-go-round multiple, multiple times. You know, you, you as a kid, you used to do it till you'd make yourself ah, sick. It was ah, so much fun. I hate it. Well, as an adult, you don't like it. You're like, so immediately it in induces nausea and vomiting. So the first three days, it was just like constantly running to the toilet because, I mean, I just couldn't keep anything down because my body, my body's acclimated more to it to where I'm just still nauseous. Like eating even one meal a day has been hard. So I've been using a lot of supplement like insurers and boosts and uh, breakfast essentials, liquids, because it's easier to get. I need to get nutrition into my body. I need to get vitamins and minerals. But eating solid food is so hard because the moment I put something solid in my stomach, my vertigo just makes my stomach go blah, 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 like doing somersaults. What is it like so, editing? Is that, does that affect like going to edit a video, for example? Yeah. So I, I found a couple things that like make it worse. So I, I can't drive. So Ooh. I've had to drive sometimes because when I'm driving, your eyes constantly have to change focal points. So every time my eye change a focal point, it triggers the that kind of spinny, blurry yeah. feeling. And then, you know, um, editing where it gets me with the editing is when I'm switching frames because my eyes are constantly darting around. So I found I have to go a lot slower. And I really haven't been doing a lot of videos. Like I haven't been able to record or edit or anything because I'm just so out of it and I don't feel like myself, um, which is why I've been going on live shows and stuff lately and just hanging out with people because I just can't 
pull it together to get the videos done. Yeah. Um, that's turning okay. my head, turning my head makes me lose my, it literally like all of a sudden you'll see me go like that, or, you know, I'll lose my balance. If I turn my head too quickly, just looking over at somebody will, I have to think every movement I do, I now have to think about it to keep myself from getting too bad. Mornings are the worst. Cause that's when my body's trying to acclimate to, Oh, by the way, yeah, we have vertigo. So mornings are the worst. It's the hardest. It's when I'm the dizziest. It's when everything's really feeling bad. And then as the day progresses and I kind of acclimate, it's not as bad, but it's there. It's horrible. I do not wish it on anybody, just like tinnitus. I don't wish it on anybody. I know it's very common and a lot of people have it. I have a very severe case that it, I can't be in silence. I can't sit in silence because the ringing is so loud. I understand why people that used to get locked into seclusion, like would go crazy. Yeah. It's maddening to hear this all the time. So I surround myself with noise all the time. YouTube is my best friend. The TV, the radio is my best friend. Cause I always have to have sound going to take my mind off the sound that's inside my head. I'm the same way, but I have to use fans. I just don't like, or podcasts. But See, it has to fans be aren't loud. Yeah, fans aren't loud enough to get over oh, the ring. I, I use a 24-inch fan farm, or fan, farm fan. Farm fan. Yeah, the big giant steel one. Like, yeah. That's how I oh, yeah, shit. I don't have yeah. one of those. That would probably do it for me. Yeah, you know, the, you know those uh, at bathrooms and stadiums, they have those those uh, ones that are like, it looks like a snail, and it, it dries the yeah. ground. That's That's the second one that I use during the summertime. Yeah. I use two of those bitches, a, fan, a farm fan and one of those. Yeah, I can't sleep unless it sounds like I'm on a jet plane, like an airplane. It's bizarre. <laughs> Excuse me, E-Rock, you the same way, bro? Uh, no, luckily... Yeah. In terms of fans, I mean. I don't have vertigo, but uh, the anxiety and the heart condition, I have a new empathy for women because I actually ex used to experience severe hot flashes no -uh. they would last all day long damn bro my and mom i remember my mom going through menopause like that yeah and i'm sitting there going you know I, like i said I, i've never had anxiety before so i didn't know what uh, what was going on and i just get these flushes and heat and i'm like my wife would be sitting there going you're having a hot flash i'm like i don't have hot flashes guys don't have hot flashes yo yeah. Sweet, huge fucking shout out to Eric, by the way. Yeah, so, so real quick, Josh, where'd it go? Josh mentioned he was on where'd it go? Yeah, Josh Hoyt says he takes effects of 75 milligram a day. That's what I was on, and that's what I titrated off to. Now, I titrated it off of it myself. So rather than going through the doctor and saying, I want to titrate off this, I did my own self titration. So maybe I should have titrated six months, but I did it in 60, 60 days. How long of titrating off? What the fuck is titrating? Step down. Decreasing, slowly slipping, stepping down. Oh. How long you, you instead of just stopping taking it, you have to slowly I step down. I have taking. a buddy who quit heroin. With Kratom doing that. Yeah, Kratom mm -hmm. has, has been known to help with a lot of stuff like that, but it's very dangerous. The slight, slightest amount too much can actually kill you. Well, th that's, but that it helped him. But yeah. he was taking, uh, he would measure his in an Aquafina bottle cap, like the just the bottle cap for it. And he would just dip it into this bag. And I remember, because when, when, when I was on pain pills, I was, I was never like addicted to him or anything. I just took my regular as dose for years. One, one five milligram Vicodin when I needed it. And that was it. And my, my uh, fl flex were off my back and for my upper neck. Uh, a lot of dirt bike accidents. But he, um, I, I was getting scared. Cause I was like, dude, like, well, I don't want to fucking die of this shit or fucking become an addict. He's like, well, how long have you been taking them? And how many do you take? I'm like, I've, been taking them for six years. And I take one a day. He's like, bro, it takes eleven for me to get out of bed 
just to contact my dealer. And I was like, holy shit. He's like, you're just fine. Damn. Yeah, uh, bro. I I take one or a half of one and I'm good seas. Like I'm just good seas. That's just fine. Um, but he and when I was talking to him, he came over. We're in the studio. He's another hip hop artist. Uh, shout out to CJ. Um, he's fucking phenomenal too. But I remember him coming over and he'd be fucking shaking. And he pulled out this fucking bag. At first, I thought it was weed. I was like, bro, that's the worst weed I've ever seen. He's like, it's not weed. It's kratom. And he takes out this fucking Aquafina bottle cap. And he fucking measures it out, and he just dumps the powder in his mouth, and he chugs a shit ton of water, and his and he stops shaking. Like, what the fuck was that about? I was like, dude, it's like I've, I've been trying to quit heroin, uh, blah 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 blah, and um, and opiates and shit, and it worked. It fucking worked. I mean, now he's been clean for a, sh- a long time, years. Hey, as long as it worked, man. Yeah, it it worked good. Uh, although I do know some people who have been taking it for a while. Who um, who've weaned themselves off of off of um, just pills, but then they just take small amounts of kratom just to keep the withdrawals away. I yes. guess. Yeah. So they like yeah. Take- so kratom, it's non narcotic. It comes from a plant. Well, I mean, a lot of opioids come from or derivatives of plants, but it's opium. kratom. Yeah. It so kratom fills the same receptors as it doesn't get you high. Yeah, it doesn't get you high. So it's really a lot of people with our opiate opiate addiction or other drug addictions have found great success in using Kratom, which is funny because, of course, for, you know, they're trying to ban it and make it illegal all of over course. the place. They're That's trying. To, of course, they do because pharmacies can't, you know, they can't um, uh, patent a plant. You know, anybody can get kratom if you can grow it now grant kratom is only able to be grown in certain countries but and then it's imported over it but used because to, be it's a, to grown here to be grown here legally. yeah now yeah so i wanted to address real quick sunny she asked if i had tried vaping cbd i'm allergic to hemp and i'm also allergic to marijuana so while that I've heard a lot of really good success stories for people with anxiety and depression that it has helped them I'm allergic to it, so Shut I can't use it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Look, and to be honest, I'm so sorry to hear that. I, I hate to say it, but I tried CBD, um, and it did help. But to be honest with you, it, it just got expensive to, to vape enough. Yeah, to- because it's not recognized as as a medicinal product that insurance will not cover it. You know, and. For CBD. Now, with medical marijuana, if you live in a state that has medical marijuana laws and you can get a license, yeah, you can get those things covered. You know, have, you can get those things, but insurance doesn't expensive. cover it. Yeah. Insurance uh, ins- covers it, but it's it's still $125, you know, uh, and they they limit you in Minnesota. Like So right now, my brother gets, um, he's a disabled vet. He gets just enough to last about two weeks and he only can get us that that amount per month so he he wanted to get himself off of pills and he did he's so he's no longer using opiates but now they only want to give him enough weed thc and cbd from for a month but it actually only lasts him about two weeks so it's pretty fucking sad yeah 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 and the va yeah. won't, won't pay for the they still make him pay Fucking VA sucks, but they still make them pay like 125 well, bucks per dose or per whatever the fuck it is. And and it has to do with you got to understand with the VA, they are they're federal. They have to go by federal gu- guidelines too. And while there's some laws changing, there's still so many things they can't do because of federal laws against marijuana. Well, no, they, so they, they can, still they pay for it. they pay for part of it. Yeah, they can yeah. pay for you know they're they're getting there, yeah. you know. Which is better than get, nothing, but it still sucks. Yeah, and I'm trying to get my dad. Um, I want my dad to fucking get on on medical marijuana, but I, I don't. He, I don't know if the VA will do that with him either, because he's he's 100 percent disabled vet too. It just it's fucking sucks because when if you can afford the insurance, the insurance, they make you pay this insane price. Yeah, it's Bill, bizarre. Uh, you know what drives me nuts with 
like for our military. Now, a little preface. This is something I was going to share on my channel at 2 a.m., but I'm going to share it here with you, too. Um, another reason why this has been a hard month for me is my children's father was um, a military veteran. He was Army, served two tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. Afghanistan after 9-11. He was part of Iraqi freedom and enduring freedom. He suffered a service-related injury while deployed, so he came home on 100% medical retirement. Um, he's no longer with us. He passed Sorry, away in January of 2014. His birthday was two, well, now it's been a couple more days, been like Five days ago. So he's been in my thoughts a lot. He's a father of both my children, both my children, uh, because their father was active duty. They have, you know, they go to the VA. We go to the VA for a lot of their doctor stuff, and it's hard. Um, I actually, right tonight, I had to get a copy of his DD-214 and his death certificate that I have to take for some paperwork because my daughter, I both our children are special needs. So there's a new program that I'm trying to get my daughter into through the VA and I have to go through all of this over again, take all the paperwork. And it was really emotional tonight getting his death certificate out. But it frustrates me so much to see our veterans and the care and the fact that doctors will prescribe, over prescribe. A veteran can walk in and get any opiate they want when they're hundred percent service disconnect, you know, disability, like they'll give them opiates all day long. They'll give them drugs, pharmaceuticals, but when they want an alternative, the VA is not there for them. They make right. it so hard for them. And That's it's so frustrating. First, I'm sorry for your loss. That's, that's terrible. Um, secondly, what you just said is 100% true. I know my brother had to go through a, a couple month process just to get approved for medical marijuana, but they, they've been giving them, you know, Viking, not Viking, it was at Oxys for years mm -hmm. without an issue. Just yeah. you know, no, no issues, not even a question asked. Um, and he, he did the smart thing, you know, he took himself off it, but he was a hardcore, and I won't say his name, but he, my brother was a hardcore, was a hardcore alcoholic, but, um, you know, slowly but surely, weaned himself off him and his wife helped him a lot and I, and i think medical weed fucking helped him out a lot too like that you know just it worked and most of the time the only reason why he would drink is to forget about the pain forget about you know watching people fucking his best friends dying from him, getting literally crushed by fucking flipped ass hummers and shit he was um iraq too but <coughs> he went to a bunch of different tours fucking turkey a bunch of different places middle east man it's oh, hold on real quick I, i'm hearing my fucking children and they're they should be sleeping it's 10 45 at night so give me you guys talk i'm gonna go yell at some motherfuckers quick all right brother now give me um and it won't be surprising but the reason the federal government is obviously taking their sweet time legalizing this is because the irs gets to collect all the taxes but doesn't have to give any deductions to someone running the business for me medical marijuana yeah yeah there's, there's so many gaps and and holes and cracks and in, in our health care and i'm not no don't get me i'm not some communist socialist i'm not saying we should just have socialized health care or anything but the health care that we have in america is broken is it's not working. There are so many people dying every day because the, the life-saving medication that is there, they can't get access to. The doctors that are there that could save their lives, they can't get access to. And it, it's beyond frustrating. And it's, you know, the empathy that I have for people in far worse situations than I am. I mean, I am so lucky to be where I am. And I know so many people in far worse situations and it just, it just frustrates me and angers me so badly. But the, the problem we got when you try and make socialized medicine and still have capitalism on top of that, it's just, it's 
the money's going to drive it. Just like yeah, these, yeah. There's medicines that European nations have proven have helped a lot of people, but uh, FDA won't approve it because it only costs thirty dollars a month. Exactly. It's like something that's so affordable. And we have people that are literally taking and leaving their lives behind to go to these other countries to try and get what we can't get here in the United States. It's like um, Jay Hayes was on Chuck and Vape show the other night and he brought up um, some stuff that they're doing over in Cuba with lung cancer. And they, they've done some studies and they found a way to introduce, take a virus, a hollow virus, and, and implant the information for the cancer cells into the, you know, into the virus and then inject you with it so is that your immune system cells can recognize cancer. Because that's the biggest problem with is it our own cells our immune cells can't recognize cancer because cancer disguises itself as another another just a regular cell they wear kind of think of it like wearing a coat you got all of your cells good cells are wearing red coats and the bad cells are wearing blue coats well the cancer cells wear the red coats so yeah. they're they, they walk right by them well this way of injecting your body with the virus and making your immune cells recognize it and say, Hey, that guy's wearing a red coat, but he's a bad cell, you know, and that's very dumbed down and not, not, you know, correct in an analogy probably, but you get what I'm saying. And that that exists in Cuba, but here in the United States, it doesn't exist because cancer makes money. They want you to stay sick with cancer because of the radiation therapy the chemotherapy and lung members cancer oh, look. that it's like you know knowing that it's there but it because in our country it pays for you to be sick not same, better same thing with why they're they're trying to squash vaping and i have no doubt there's probably some magical medicine out there somewhere in some other country that would help you and i with anxiety but um the FDA they wants rather, to fucking put up. They must put rather a, give us antidepressants with like eight side effects and then give you more medicines to cover those side effects, which cause more side effects. And it's just big pharma. Dead. Yep. It's all big pharma. It's all big pharma. So there's a charity um, that, we're, that we, my family, put together when my husband, my children's father, when he died. Um, it's called the ripple effect and it's based out of Phoenix, Arizona. And you can look it up online, the ripple or you can go to the ripple effect on Facebook. And it is specifically designed for military families for reintegration for military men and women and their families. So one of the biggest problems it, for our military men and women is that everything is great while you're in the military. Right. They get everything you need. You got it. But when you're done, when you retire, go back to civilian life, reintegrating into civilian life is so hard. And it's and you don't have your brothers and sisters there with you anymore. It's not like in combat. It's not like on base. You don't have your brothers and sisters there anymore. You don't have that government body having your back anymore. And so what the ripple effect, ripple effect does is it works with men and women and their families on reintegration and suicide prevention specifically and mental health specifically. And one of the things that my ex-mother-in-law, his mother, um, is doing, she's the founder and director of the ripple effect. And what she's doing is she's working hard in Arizona to try and get better uh, alternatives to pharmaceuticals, opiates and such, and and better uh, therapy and people they are working with with veterans, especially uh, disabled veterans and but all veterans alike. It's a charity that is there for all veterans and all military families. And um, that was actually another thing I was going to talk about because what I want to do, being that this is 
the month of his birthday and the anniversary day of his birthday or the anniversary day of his death is coming up. I want to do a charity raffle. Um, I want to bring the vaping industry together. I'm also trying to connect the ripple effect with vape for vets because one other thing that we're seeing in a lot of our veterans is what's the one thing that's the e easiest thing to get on base? Cigarettes. Oh, yeah. And uppers. <laughs> they prescribe, they give you uppers like crazy, especially when you're deployed. Anything to keep you going because you may have to go for four days before you can sleep. So a lot of these men and women come home with addiction to opiates. They come home with um, the negative effects mentally on their body. They come home with PTSD and stuff. And nicotine is a therapy for them, but it's also a killer for them because of cigarettes. So there's a lot that I'm trying to get going um, that I want to start doing and br getting our, our community, our vape community involved because I think there are a lot of people out there that do care and it's something I'm very passionate about um, you know that's something that I want to get to get going to that's amazing that's super yeah. amazing so Absolutely. when you say um, the charity raffle how is that going to work in terms of guidelines if you know what we ask yeah that's so so I have to find a platform to do it on um Patreon does allow, as we talk, they allow charities, but they yep. don't allow gambling. Um, yep, duly fucking noted at this point. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, I have to get with Facebook. I think Facebook does allow charity events, but it has to be a registered 501c, which it is. Um, I know quite a few vape companies. Squid Industries does amazing work uh, for charities. So I thought about getting a hold of Eric and finding out how he does his online. Um, but what I want to do is get a bunch of people together, make like some good big charity, you know, some big, you know, something for them to put their money to, to reward them for, you know, for helping and, and, and get that together. And, and this is going to be really selfish and it is a selfish reason. It's because that's my, my part of my healing. So I want to bring a good two positives together, the positive of vaping and community. And then also my personal gain of this is a really important thing that's very near and dear to my heart. And it was, and I'm not only going to have the charity, the ripple effect, another charity that I want to do. And I'm probably also going to add in, I know I'm going to add in a vape, you know, one of our vaping charities, whether it be CASA, notblowingsmoke.org, one of those proceeds are going to go to them as well. So I have three, three charities that I know I want to include that this money is going to go towards. I want to go towards the ripple effect for military families, because that's, you know, in my heart, I want to go to a vape advocacy organization because that's in my heart. And I want to go to an organization called HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America. And that's another one that's very close to me because I don't know if anybody in chat knows what Huntington's disease is. Oh, Huntington's, yeah. yeah. It is a neurological hereditary genetic disorder. My children's father had Huntington's disease. His father had Huntington's disease, his mother. Um, his sister, my children's what aunt. Is the, what, is the, she, what are the uh, symptoms? Okay, so this is what people, like the umbrella term to make people understand is it's like having Parkinson's, ALS, and dementia all at once. Holy shit. And that literally is. You lose. The end stages are organ failure. You you lose the ability. What it is is the outer protective layer on your neuron, your neurons. I'm suck at explaining stuff, especially right now because my head isn't where it should be. Um, deteriorates, and once that mylar myelin sheath 
yeah. deteriorates off your neurons, the signals can't travel back and forth from the brain. So you lose your muscle control is the first one. You So you shake all the time. That's yeah. where the Parkinson's reference comes from. ALS, you lose the ability to speak. You lose the ability to control your vocal. You lose the ability to swallow. You lose the ability. Then you get dementia. So the brain actually starts deteriorating. All while all this is happening, happening, your coherence is all there. So you're like locked in a cage. Oh my god! Because you're there mentally. You're there. You what know what's going fuck? on around you. You know everything that's going on around you, but you're trapped inside. Horrible disease. There's no cure for it. There's no. There's medications that can help lessen the symptoms, but only in the early stage. Ages. So my children's aunt, his sister, is now in the last stage of Huntington's disease, and she just went to a nursing home, and she no longer has the ability to swallow, so she has to do eating tube inserted. She only weighs 90 pounds. So because it's hereditary, my children have a 50-50 chance of having it now while it seems like oh 50 50 that's great odds let me give you an idea of how this has affected their family their grandfather was one of five children all five children had it their great grandmother was one of four children three of four children had it their father was one of two children. Both children have it. Holy shit. The average lifespan, depending on what they call the CAG repeat, which is where the genetic mutation is. It's called Huntington's because it's on the gene that the man that discovered the gene, his name was Huntington's. Everybody has the Huntington gene. The mutation is Huntington's disease. So it happens... The CAG repeats, which if any of my biology, th yeah, fist up for biology majors, any of my biology majors, your CAG repeats, you have four, sorry, my brain's not thinking of the word right now, but you have four letters. We're going to call them them because I can't remember. A, G, C, T, or U. So your CAG repeats are your C, A, G. The number of CAG repeats determines whether you have the mutation or you have the normal gene. I want to say below 24 CAG repeats, but it could be even lower, maybe 13, my numbers, you don't have the mutation. Above 24, you have the mutation, but then it's the like how late it's going to progress depends on the number of CAG repeats. The problem with Huntington's disease is, is every time it's genetically passed down, it gets stronger. So you go from having 27 to 36 to 46 to 56 CAG repeats. And the stronger it gets, the longer, the shorter the lifespan. So their father made it 15 years. We don't know how long their father would have made it. My children's father would have made it because he committed suicide. His aunt just got diagnosed three years ago, and she's in the final stage, and they're saying one to two years. Holy shit. Is what they give her. I haven't even so, heard of this before. I've heard so of the name, as a I didn't mother, realize that, that was that, was that fucking widespread. Yeah. Still alive, baby. Can you go upstairs? Thank you, sweetie. Love you. Um, so in this hereditary disease, the parent, the non-Huntington's disease positive parent outlives their children. And their grandmother, my ex-mother-in-law, will have outlived two of her children, both of her children. And so... HDSA, that was really long. Sorry, you guys. I'm so, such a Debbie. HDSA organization is extremely important to me because they need the money to find a cure. 
doctor research is very expensive and the cure to hd the, the Huntington's disease is gene therapy and we've made big 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 advancements in the last five years in gene therapy and we need to keep doing that and that costs lots of money and that's why they have a charity organization and you can donate and so those are the three organizations that i want to do something for this year before the end of 2018 because it's a personal healing thing for me and it's selfish but no. i want to make something good that's awesome out of that's awesome it's, it's that's not phenomenal selfish, not selfish at all no, it's well. It's it. I understand why she says that, but it's not. No. You know what I mean. The the self the the healing. Excuse me. The healing portion is just insane. I mean that that right there. I can't. I mean I can't imagine to lose somebody that close. That's that's absolutely insane. Oh fuck! I noticed we got uh, we got Ray. Ray, that's my oh shit. Yep, let's put on Ray. Ray, tell Cassandra to turn her television off. <laughs> Unmute. Ray, unmute yourself, dog. That's why I'm on mute. Okay. Ray, Kim? <laughs> you, Ray. Hi, Kim. I'm hey. glad that she's talking. I'm actually glad that she's talking about this because a lot of this brings it out to light to everybody that wouldn't have known about any of this stuff. No, 100%. It might, it, might, it might help somebody in the chat room. Plus, it might also help somebody that, that somebody in the chat room that knows somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. 100%, bro. Let me tell you something that's going to help people in the chat room as well. And that is fuck Josh in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, because this motherfucker has got the Orion in gold motherfucking oval. Hells yeah. Abalone. Did he, he lend it to you? Thanks. Hey, if you shut the fuck up, Ray. You shut your fucking, <laughs> you shut your whorish mouth. You know where this came from? I want one of those so bad. This came from okay. this came from my boy, Eric, aka E Rock. E Rock Fapes, this boy right there. Not Thank true. you so much, my ninja. That's Las uh, Vegas I'll, representing right there, son. I'll be going to your house and uh, next week to go pick up mine. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Don't you guys live like right next door to each other? Uh, aren't you hey, yeah, I'm moving this weekend. Not this not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Oh dude. Uh I, I was about to say I'd help you, but next weekend I'm I gotta go off to Cincinnati. So. No, no worries, man. We have like a uh, couple of friends that are coming down. A couples, we are like four. We got about like eight people that are helping us move, and we're not moving a lot of furniture. So when I get back, though, uh, seriously, you and I are gonna hook up. I'm gonna buy you a beer. Yeah, and I'll bring you some coils, Sweet. bro. Bro, that's the first time Thessonian coils have ever been hand delivered by the fucking maker. No, because you hand delivered them to me and Grim Dino and Josh. So, yes, we got. But not to it. That's a Patreon to Patreon fucking. That's a Patreon to Patreon exchange right there. Kimmy, do you yeah. see the type of connects that I just fucking made? Yeah, Shane's getting his package tomorrow because uh, you still haven't sent him his coil. <laughs> hey, 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 listen. There's a there's a legal look. Hold on. I, I wish I could share screens. Um, I wish I could share screens because I just went back on my Patreon. It still says I'm full blown suspension. Uh, right here. It says, uh, uh, your account has been temporarily suspended. Please get in contact with our trust and safety team to review your page at guidelines at patreon.com. Here you can learn more, or you can learn more here. That's weird. I could see the, the comments and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fine there, but it's my my the account meaning monetarily uh, is frozen. Yeah, yeah. So I can't yeah. get, I can't get paid. I can't get nothing until and I just sent him another email yeah. just like literally minutes ago. Uh, all I said after was like, the, yeah after the live show I was gonna talk to you and then busy. But after the live show, get I want to make see what contacts you have for Patreon versus the contacts I have and see if maybe I have a contact you don't since sure I have to do email con correspondence as well with this whole fiasco and if I can give you their the one I have and maybe that will get you a line of like quicker attention and I think that I think it's just one of the interests what's up the what interest yeah 
did it on the interest of holding on to the money. Yeah, yeah. For y'all should fucking remove that motherfucking Patreon fee. It says I make five seventy six a month. Motherfuckers give me like four ninety, man. Bitch, right? They need like they need to be more like they need to let everybody know like how much they're taking off the backs of you know the people they're wanting to donate to us. They really don't want to see their money be going that much of their money going but it's yeah it they mislead you because they told me when i signed up it was only five percent and there's yeah. we, there's months and it varies did you notice that yes because the, the, last month there's I made, months where they took 23 percent from me yes there the oh. last i just i just dipped i just fucking because for my loan for my truck i just had to bring in my in proof of income and shit and uh they're like it says it's you said that you make 576 a month average um, and it says that your only actual take home is like five ninety three or four ninety three, and they're like, "That's blah 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 percentage." I'm like, "I fucking tell me about." It. I'm like, "I don't decide the percentage." That's those guys. At the same time, I can't complain because it's it's those are the supporters, but yeah, I can fucking yeah, complain absolutely. to Patreon. I'm like, dude, ah. And then with with the uh, super chat, I, like the the this has been an insane month. Fucking thank you guys so much. I think it was. I think it was almost six hundred dollars in super chat last month. I was like, Jesus Christ! Yeah. It was insane. It was in one night was almost four hundred bucks alone. Holy moly! Yeah, See, that's what I hate. You know what I hate is that super chat can only be enabled if you enable monetization on your channel. So, like, I've been able to monetize for for a very long time, yeah. but I won't because I don't want to give YouTube any money. Like, I'm just like. You know, as mean as they've been to all us vapor viewers, I don't want I, I don't want ads to play because yeah. I don't want to even give YouTube that money when they, you know, because we know they demonetize our videos anyway. But what pissed me off is I went to go try and enable Super Chat and it won't let me enable Super Chat without and it won't let me the new feature where people can pay a subscription to you and you can give them extra perks it won't let me enable any of that without enabling monetization so nope. that youtube can get their money by putting ads and it pisses me off why does that have to be together why can't that be separate exactly well the, because they want to they want a disney network that's what they want yeah they want yeah. A, 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 a i do a have disney a question though uh, i know someone put it in chat the other night and i was just curious did uh Patron at least change the rules to where you guys don't have to wait until like the 15th or the 30th to collect that if someone signs up, you get it right away. Yeah. Yeah. That was a plus for us. At least that was yeah. the one plus because it allowed us like, I don't know about thesis and everybody, like one thing I say with my Patreon is I don't expect money from any of my supporters. And I'm very right. adamant to them that if you have financial problems or you just, you know what, you, you, you want to spend your money somewhere else. Don't ever, ever feel bad about bumping your tear down or coming to me and saying, Hey, I got to leave for a bit. I'm cool. Like still follow my Patreon because I'll hook, you know, I long lasting friendships I've built with people that I don't care whether you're my Patreon or not. But one thing that it protects us from, us content creators, is people that literally will only sign up for one month to get in on some of the giveaways we do, and then they book it. They book it before they get charged. Ah! So that, so yes! that demanding, because I'm someone that gives a lot. Now, I don't give in, like, I'm not giving away $500 mods or anything like that. I'm like... Hey, I got this extra atomizer. Who wants it? Let's do a randomizer and randomize some people. But still, people will come and take advantage of that. So it protects us creators by, yep, if you want to be a part of this, you yep. pay now, and you get full months so back to doing that month after month. Three and a half, four months where it was a constant stream of I would jump 15 subscribers during the giveaway. And the moment. I sent out packages. They would pay for shipping, but the moment I would send out packages, the month, the the fifth of the month, when it goes to take the money out, boom, declined or removed. Gone. Like, yep. Same thing for me. Fuck. And you know what? The, the sad part is, I don't, I don't know if it's age talking or whatever, but I'd much rather have the vape family and the connections over free gear. Exactly. And to me, when I first started doing the giveaway stuff, 
the the one that hit me the hardest is when I got, and this is not just from one person. This is from like dozens of people who hit me up. I was like, hey, just so you know, like the giveaway stuff is a bonus. Like we don't expect that, or like they're like, I don't expect that. And I was like, holy shit, like that means the fucking world. That's to my. Me. Those are my true patreons. Yes, those are my exactly. true, like the ones that stay. They, they're like, we don't care. That's a bonus. Like I have nine right now, solid and. And these are like my nine core. They've been with me from the start. They're my ride or die people. I love them. I would do anything for them. And I want to give to them because yep. they're such Shane Smith community member. Like there's community members we have in our computer. We community that we all know and love. We know their names. We see them. They're huge supporters, yep. you know, and they're supporters of everybody, and I love that. And I don't expect my supporter to only be a supporter of me. No, fuck like, no. Shane, Shane's a Shane's a fucking patriot whore, as far as I'm concerned. Isn't he? Isn't yeah. he? He's a little. He's a whore. He's he's, he's a he's community fucking, he's just whore. He's jizzing cash everywhere on the vape. He's community. getting it all over. He's yeah. like get a little bit of Nas booty, a little bit of Kimmy booty, get yeah. a little bit over yeah. there. Yep, he's all over it. He's hitting it. He's getting that shit. He's getting. The, he's getting. The I don't even think. I don't think he's in chat anymore. He might have went to bed. It's getting late for him. Fuck it. That's the truth. That's that's that's, that's the truth of the matter. Because I was, I was. Uh, who the fuck was I? Hold on. Ray's one of those fucking Patreon horse. He hits me up. I was like, hey, bro. Grim Green just gave away this for two dollars. I'm like, hey, Ray. You're supposed to be <laughs> mine only. Mine <laughs> only. Okay. And I was. Hey, and then, and then he goes, you know, wait, 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 wait. This is wait, 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 wait. I give more money to you than I do to Graham. So I know you told me that, and when you said that, I was like, "Bro, that shit means the world to you." Just made my nipples hard just now, just now. <laughs> I'm one of those people too, and I joke about it all the time. I'm like, "Oh, let me get that." And I, I do it just to, just to mess with him. I, I truly just help him out, just to do as much as possible as I can to help the channel and help him. You know. Like I said, he's one him and and Grim Dino and uh, Black China in the chat. It's because of them that I don't I don't you smoke anymore. It's because these has put in the time to help me out when I asked him, Hey, should I buy this? Is this a good thing? And you know, what do I do with this? And and ohms, you know, if it wasn't for him doing that, I wouldn't be building. I wouldn't be where I'm at at building. I wouldn't be, you know, having all this, you know, stuff you know, in general to, you know, get away from that. And not so much because he helped me. Thank you so much, bro. Keep talking. I'm, I'm going to jerk off real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, put, but, I'll put my 976 voice on. Uh, oh, let, let me just go ahead and say, you uh, rock, yeah, yeah, rock yeah. Eric, I fucking, I cannot thank you enough for this. This is just send, that, just send that to me. It's okay. Just send it to me. I just said it was okay. Hey, hey, hey you shush. Every time you say send that to me, you get, you get a basium, you get this, that, and the other. I ever <laughs> no, dude, it's, where is it? Is it right here? No, I left it upstairs. I don't even have a basium for myself. I understand, and I appreciate it. I do appreciate it, say. So you literally got mine. You call it, it, is it basium or bassium? Because I always call it a bassium. I get yelled at, Kimmy, for everything I say. It's it's fucking smoke, right? fucking retard. And I'm like, right? it's fucking me pod, you dumbass. Like, you know what? I talk to Amir on the phone for two hours, and every time that motherfucker said oh, me pod or my pod, he changed the name on me. I'm like, bro, at, at the end of the conversation, is it me pod or is it my pod? He's like, it's whatever. It's whatever you want. It's, it's whatever. Give me my me pod. Give me my, give me my mic pod. And I'm like, all right. I've heard the saying that what people say to me, like I've heard the saying before, it's me pod until I give it to you. And then it's, or it's my pod and then, or some, some crap like that. And it's like, I'm like, you confusing. I, I, I don't know what. Call it the my pod. I look at me. Ray's got, Ray's got that. As long as it sells, you can call it whatever you want. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Can I just go ahead and give a shout out to um? Oh, your channel. Of course you can. Oh yeah, this is my. I can do what the fuck I want. <laughs> Fucking Times Vape sent me out this dildo. Look at my. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Who's on Never the end of that? I'm but, telling you. That never I, to me. I if I up, get that. If I get that in the mail, I'm using it wrong the first time. That's all I, I'm saying. I swear to God, I, sh <laughs> I showed Mandy, and I go like this. Watch this. I'm going to call this one the porn star. Hey, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that mod will give you vertigo. Yeah. yeah. 
in the, hey, it might cure my vertigo. It's going to give you a vertical <laughs> smile, that's for sure. They used to use it back in the days. Yeah, hey. Bro, so yeah. tell me so tell me why um tell me why Gearbest Gearbest comes back at me with the offer uh fuck, what was it? He's like, we're gonna send you out the the new oh what the fuck was it? Was it the Mike Vape? It was the recurve RDA. I'm like, it's not that new anymore, man. I'm like, yeah, we just got like this 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 color and that color, and I hit up Mike Vapes. I'm like, bro, hey, are those uh, are, are the ones like your best fucking legit? He's like, probably not. Turns out they don't even make the fucking recurve in that color. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so they were about to send out a whole case. I'm like, make sure you send giveaways. I'm about to send out a whole case of fucking uh of knockoff recurves. Yep. Ooh, ouch! Gotta be, see. I'm, that's why I'm so scared of when Gearbest or Heaven's Gift or any of those kind of companies contact me. I'm so scared to now, to get something and it end up being a clone. Yeah, well, it, you know, and not gifts. Now they they got a pretty good record compared to Fast Attack and Gearbest. When I first got hit up yeah. by Heaven Gifts, I thought I was going to be sent flashlights. Yeah. <laughs> Just think of it. Look at the name. I told Mandy about. It. I'm like, heaven gift. She's like, you're doing porn or uh, sex toy reviews now. And I'm like, right? I'm like, no, no. They I'm also sure sell they, I'm vape sure shit. They got them on that website too. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh my god. Do you guys remember when you got you got your first uh, your first knockoff flashlight? Knockoff? Like what? Shut the fuck. You know what I'm talking about. Can't relate. I'm just gonna sit back for this one and listen because I okay, can't. Okay, so. I'll I'll tell you guys my story. This one? So uh for your information, my mom spoke to the doctor today and the cancer did not spread. Oh fuck yeah, full savage. That's amazing. That's beautiful to hear, bro. Awesome. Yes, that is beautiful. Uh fucking congratulations. God bless your mom, man. Um so the first time, so I ordered it was buy one, get one. And this is back in the early days of internet shopping, especially for fucking sex days. And I said, fuck it. I'm buying this bad bitch right here. My ex was a sex a sex toy sales thing. And she deviated my ass at a super young age. And fuck it. Bought one, got one, gave one to my brother. I took it. Now she used it on me. You took it? Oh, oh shut the f- Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on. And she, oh, fuck yeah. she used that shit. And uh, it turns out that the knockoff sex toys are just as fucked up as clone vape gear because it fell apart. Mm, ouch. Yeah, it felt well. It also made me feel good about myself. I was like, You see how hard I am? See how hard yeah. I, am? I knocked the bottom out of my flashlight. Yeah, to, <laughs> it wasn't the problem, was it wasn't even a fucking flashlight, bro. Ah, Kenny B, my ninja. Uh, did you get a I didn't get a hold on, Charlie. Fuck off with that. shit. Um, I, didn't, I didn't get a rash. It was there was no like, you know, a flashlight looks like this, like it looks like a canister, like a flashlight and shit. This mm-hmm. one just came all wobbly. It was just, oh, no. it, it was just like a flaccid <laughs> vagina. It was, <laughs> it was like a giant prolapse that you're holding. So they was, call those, aren't those called like the pocket pussies? I don't know what I can say on here. Well, wait, you cuss all the time. I was gonna I say, you can say what the fuck you want, hey. man. <laughs> this ain't this ain't vape stew. You can you can we can get we can delve deep. <laughs> Kenny B, hey Kenny B, <laughs> He's like damn, I come in here and Kimmy's talking about pussies and shit. <laughs> pocket pussies to be Pacific. <laughs> My number one, my number one. I want to know something from the panel. Can I ask something real quick from you all? Since we're talking about sex toys, has anyone on the panel ever made a Fifi? I don't know what that is, but I'll try it. You said so. Basically, a Fifi. A Fifi fifi is a homemade. Yeah, it's a homemade pocket pussy. I watched. Do you do that? You mean like cut a hole in the camera? Like no, you take a. There's several different like versions, like but I guess it's something. It's something big in prisons. Like they make, they call them beefies. Like in prisons, they make them. But yeah, like you take a a towel and you roll it up to make it, and then you put rubber bands over the towel, and oh then you. Oh my god, a plastic bag! I thought bag I invented over, that. And, <laughs> You have made a I thought I fucking invented that. I didn't know that was a fucking thing. Holy shit. <laughs> I just learned of it like this year. So I'm just totally obsessed with wondering how many guys out there have made 
you know, because girls, I mean, you hear about no. girls going to a grocery store and buying cucumbers. You come, you come over, you open her fridge and she's got nothing in her fridge, but she's got like five cucumbers sitting there. You know, hey, it's that, <laughs> let me show you guys a funny ass Snapchat that I just recorded before going live. Oh, Speaking God, of here funny we go. cucumbers. Here so let's, we go. see. Let's, let's go ahead and zoom in. Full f- effect. Extreme close up. Okay. La titties, bam. Bam. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have to make sure the sound is on. Hold on. God. That moment you realize your dick's not as big as you thought it was. God damn. <laughs> that moment you realize your dick's not as big as you thought it was. God damn. It's just the <laughs> giantest, <laughs> giantest fucking cucumbers from the neighbor. Not even cu- What are those? The zucchinis? Yeah, the neighbor cucumbers? Mm-hmm. They're fucking like this big, bro. And all I could do was look at him and just be intimidated. I was like, oh, this big and yellow and shit. Just like, so your neighbor's know. cucumber is bigger than yours. <laughs> way, way. So, fucking so you're going to keep, keep Mandy out of the grocery store for a while, huh? I could keep Mandy out the garage. I got him sitting up there. It's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> I, I, bro, my fucking, my, my cucumber is swole, but it's it's not yellow swole. It's not looking like a squash and shit. It doesn't look like a real eggplant. God damn. <laughs> Yeah, son. Her sex drive is around the block. My sex drive is like a road trip. You know what I mean? I gotta figure something out. I gotta figure some shit out. Figure some shit. Kimmy, man, what was that medication that helps with sex drive? No, that was that was me telling you the uh, butt. Bar. Yeah, the butt pu- butt par butt plug. <laughs> what was it? Yeah, butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go. You need to go get you a butt plug. Put it in your butt, and Mandy sex drive will go up. Go up. Put it in your butt, okay. and then Mandy's sex drive will go uh, up. <laughs> me. I don't know about all that shit. Hold on. Shout out to suck my mind real quick. He sent out. He sent out several atomizers, the harmonic, herma, her, the herpes, and the oh shit. <laughs> and and then he sent out a build mat that I'm. That I, I think I'm supposed to use in the video, but I don't know. Oh, that's cool. Pray you can have this. I will, <laughs> I will autograph it and I will put stack my mind. Just like I'll put a Cartman picture. You just made his nipples hard. I did. Ray, did I make the nipples hard, bro? Yes. Oh, I've got three, four other build mats to give away. People um, my nipples first now. Fucking bro. Bro, do you, have you ever broke your dick? Yes. I broke someone's dick before. Oh, fuck. I gotta hear about this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Fuck my I story. mean, how, how else do you bite? I mean, you know how that happens. Did you say how else like, do you bite it? No, I said, you know, how, you know how that happens. You know, how else does it happen? How else does a guy break his junk? Oh, then, mine's, uh, mine's not from sex. Mine's not from really? sex. No, not from really? Sex. No, not from sex. No, really? So I'm not. Oh, I thought that's how it, you know, like that's how guys, yeah. Let's just say, I'm not kidding you, no exaggeration. This, this is his junk now. And they can do surgery to fix it, but he didn't want to go and have his stuff sliced open to have it fixed. I got lots of pins in mine. (laughs) Lots of holes, rather. Lots of holes. Well, yeah, I heard that. I heard you got lots of holes down there. Lots of holes down there. I've got a Jacob's ladder. Wait, did you say holes or hose? Ho- I got both those. Both those. <laughs> I got I got hose hanging from holes, bro. What you know about it? <laughs> Barbells. Barbell status. I got I've got hafadas. I've got four hey, hafadas. Now you talk about that. All it's right. So funny little story. Funny little story. Yeah. Real quick. I, I I was in the navy for eight years. And um, thank you for your service, bro. No, no problem. You're welcome. And uh, there's this one guy that every time it's not like we went to the restroom together all the time. But I every, hope this isn't about breaking your dick with another guy at a restroom. No. In the name. Every time he would come in to use the restroom, I noticed I kept hearing this jingle. <laughs> it like, wasn't me, I swear to God. Yeah, I'm like, what the hell? So finally one day I asked him, I said, what is that? What's that jingling? He says, "Oh man, I got uh, I got a bell on the tip of my dick." <laughs> I'm like, "Man, you gotta have that pierced?" He said, "No, I do that myself. I just took a little metal." Uh, he was a machinist, mate. He had this little metal post or whatever, and he literally took the hammer to himself and drove it through 
to pierce his own dick. Jesus. I'm like, no, it's oh. a special level of whatever the hell you want to call it. I've got it. I don't know what's wrong with me, bro. I had a I zero, I had a I zero gauge. It, man. No. So you see the straw here? The inner diameter is roughly a zero. This is maybe might be a double odd, but this looks like about an odd. Yeah, so that, yeah. You see that hole? That had to go inside the urethra. Yeah. And then it's popped. So does it down. So you yeah. Albert? I've got several Prince Alberts. Yes, I do. Um, you shut the fuck up. You saw, right? <laughs> oh, you saw this shit, right? I don't know what, what he's talking about. You saw what? It? You All I saw was Ray Mysterio spandex underwear. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I had I had my, my fucking <laughs> spandex underwear on. You said you broke your dick with a flashlight. Yeah, with a flashlight. Yeah, no, no, no. I wait, broke my dick. No, wait, wait. Yeah, you know, I want to hear how you true. broke your dick. I almost, I almost saw it because when we were waking your ass up after that two-hour wake up before we went to ECC. Oh, that's right. Uh, he's coming out the shower, and he'd be not like a normal person would have a towel wrapped around them. Ah. He's just holding. He's holding a towel, like you know, <laughs> on the happy trail, so it covers his shit. And I'm like. <laughs> Like what? <laughs> like happy trails. You know what's funny is I was just talking to Mandy about today that I I, I told her I'm really worried about Josh, and she's like, "Why?" I'm like, "Cause Josh doesn't snore like at all, dead silent." And then I said, "I'm also really worried about Ray because he's 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 the complete opposite, and that Grim, Grim Dino is one of the cutest snores I've ever heard in my whole life because he snores like this." <laughs> It's the most. I just. <laughs> no, I was, true. Uh, it's true. He yeah, does. I just want to pinch his fuck. Oh shit, my light just died. I want to pinch his little cheeks. But Ray, Ray will wake the fucking dead, and it is the most. I want to. I've never ever thought about murder, ever in my life, <laughs> until we stayed in the same fucking hotel room together, <laughs> across the street from the ECC. Good God, bro. Oh, so hold on, real quick. The way I broke my penis. Um. The first time, so you gotta gotta remember at this time I didn't have that many piercings. I was probably maybe eight piercings at the time. Um, and on MythBusters, they did an episode where, like, when you pee on an electric fence, you don't get electric because <laughs> droplets. So let me tell you guys, that's not true if you're standing close to an electric fence. So I used to be a farmhand on several farms. How close are you standing to an electric fence? I I was touching it, Ray. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I just got done. I just got done. So mind you, I'm not dumbass. Like I just got done turning off the fucking electric fence and I was weed whipping. So electric fence, if you if you don't on the bottom rung, there's if there's weeds, it takes away from the electricity. So yeah. you have to weed whip the bottom in order for the electricity to go back through it completely. And that way the horses and the llamas chip stay inside the pen. So I turned it off myself. I fucking turned the motherfucker off myself. To do the weed whipping, I go to take a piss, and my brother, unbeknownst to me, thought it would be funny to turn it back on. So as sure the, it was, as, oh, it wasn't for me. As my two gauge Prince Albert whips out immediately, the moment piss starts coming out of my dick is the moment I felt. You ever have a moment where your life changes forever? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's that moment. Because <laughs> when you were electrocuted from the dick up, there's nothing that I can tell you that'll even remotely explain that feeling. There's, there's no coming back from that. There's no coming back from that. My legs, but like your body physically can't move. When you've got 24 volts of electricity going through your body, you can't move. It's like you're paralyzed. Mm-hmm. And all I hear is my brother laughing like a hyena 60 yards back up at the barn. <laughs> Mind you, the only face I can make is <laughs> like that. That's it. And hold on. That goes back to my to my heart condition, the Iraq. <laughs> oh, so no. I'm, I'm pretty sure my AFib comes from that situation specifically. You know, but, I think. I'm pretty sure that would that would cause that, yes. that would probably cause the shit because it, it would f- cause me to have an irregular heartbeat. Quick. Yeah. Was it breaking your penis? Uh, see, now I didn't actually like fully break it, but let's just say I had a I had a moment uh, where I was trying to escape, and uh, me and the bicycle 
<gasps> Bro, so the way I did break my my I don't know what they're called. There's three of them. There's three sponges inside of your dick. Yes. Yep. The fill- um, the way that and I the, so the one that's on the you know how when your heart is fucked like super veiny hard on the bottom mm-hmm. you got that one that sticks out like on the bottom. Mm-hmm. So as a teenager you get a I still Mandy is just mind blown. I if the wind blows the wrong way I'm hard as a fucking rock and I have that's to. That's why my boyfriend is. I, yep. I can just get like that. Whiskey dick is not in my fucking vocabulary. Um, I'm getting hard thinking about not being able to get hard. It's bizarre. So, <laughs> so I race dirt bikes at the time and still do, but not on a professional scale. Um, and on a fucking two stroke, it's, I'm not horny. My, my brain, my body is not horny. My dick has other plans. When you start up a two stroke for the first two minutes, you let the bitch warm up and I'm sitting on the fucking bike. The dick does what the dick does. Okay. As the gate as the gates drop, we're going. And if you've never endoed a dirt bike, it's a it's a scary feeling because as you're going forward and the rest of the bike is coming back, you know eventually it's gonna hit you hit the back in your head. And that's what happened. The problem was instead of the bike coming in the back of my head, my dick went with it. The, here's the handlebars, and my dick goes between ju- ju- oh. there's no there's no pads, there's no fucking cup in, in motocross. And as there should be. Up, there, fucking, <laughs> there fucking should be. And my my dick wedges itself between the top plate, the top bar, the bottom bar of the handlebars. And as the bike starts spinning, my dick goes right with it. Uh, now I will grant you, it is not. It's not. It's nothing permanent happened. It was just fine. Both my th- those muscles like this are fully functional. I promise. I have children and shit. But I wish it was more epic. I wish I, I should probably figure out how to tell that story better. Because that could be that, that's pretty. That's that's. I'm sorry. That's pretty epic to me. You 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 broke your dick in motocross. I mean, to me, that's pretty epic. That's that's a hell of a lot. That's a lot more interesting and a lot more epic than like just I broke my dick having I'm sex. Sick. You know, like well, in my opinion, sex. Yeah, but it's funny yeah, that reason, the same shit with a bike though. That's that's fucking. That's super. For, for I don't know what reason, it is. though. Thesis just has this unique ability to attract events like this. This is fucking so true. This is so. <laughs> um, the other day, my aunt. So, did I tell you guys about the gasoline story that happened three days, four days, uh, like a, not even a week ago, yes. four days ago? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I, what I didn't say is that the first words out of my aunt's mouth uh, when I when when my mom, I called mom, mom called her, called me. And says, if this was ever going to happen to anybody, it's not to be sent you. It's going to be you. So just, but I told her, I'm like, you know what, Auntie? That means right. that I'm done for the year. You know, you know, you know what? I have a feeling you might be one of those people. That is why we have the tag on the hair dryer that says, "Do not use the shower." <laughs> <laughs> so, so as a kid, my oh, brother my and I. So check this out. So as a kid, my brother and I, we, we would, since we were little, we would have what was called an invention bag. And we would have like these big 20, or not, not one gallon Ziplocs. And we'd have like 20 of them. Uh, that's no bullshit. I, we, I still have them till this day. Um, and we have a running joke called, where is it? It's in the T-Mobile bag. We have a T, we had, when we were a kid, we had a T-Mobile bag that was giant, full of sh- electronics we would build stuff out of. So what my brother and I thought we would do is we would, before Bluetooth speakers were in existence, um, we thought we would invent a wireless FM transmitter speaker, and we would want it. As it turns out, there is such thing as a uh, hot glue waterproofing, and we didn't use waterproof hot glue, and it shorted out the bathroom while I was in it. It, it shorted the entire circuit breaker. Now, I don't know if this should be scary or not, but uh, Black Chucky, he wants you to invite him. Oh, I did. Black Chuck, go on Patreon, bro. Yeah. Huh? I just told him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kimmy, did you ever break your clitoris? Whoa. I mean... Whoa. You can't break. I mean, 
yes and no. I, I, I split myself open. I made the I made the slit a little longer by accident. Same oh, same thing. Fuck? Bikes. Oh, whoa, 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 bikes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking bikes. <laughs> Oh, okay. I come down on a bar and it, it, it split and I had to get stitches. I mean, it split it. Like, it, it skin just said, it was like the Red Sea. It was just like, woo, let's part. Oh, my good God. <laughs> yeah. But, I Wait. mean, that that was, I mean, it hurt and it, it hurt bad. I didn't know, like, I had no idea how strong the pelvic bone is. That I didn't yeah. shatter my pelvic bone. And even the doctor was like, you know, this is, you got off light. You know, you're going to get a couple stitches and go on your way and everything will yeah. be fine in a couple months. And it was in a couple months. Everything's fine down there. Everything works fine. Sensation, nerves, all of that work just fine. You know People were scared of that shit. Like when when people get talking about that with, with your fucking dicks. Man, my nipples are so sensitive. It's insane. I don't know them. how people get them pierced. My, my boyfriend's pierced. got his pierced. My boyfriend's got his pierced. And I'm like, I don't yeah. know how you did that. No. No. My, nipple, my nipples are twice as sensitive now. Yep. I, I wouldn't want that. I get annoyed at how sensitive mine are. My boyfriend will be over there like messing with them. I'm like, stop it. No, He's like, no, why? I'm like, no, they're no. sensitive. I, my fear would be if I ever had that done, my fear would be I'd be that one guy that would get caught on something and it would get ripped out. No, I I've ripped them out. I ripped out the ones on my balls before. Um, oh, yeah. Well, hold on. I gotta make the caveat to that. It didn't get ripped like out like this. The big giant ball on either side of the barbell got ripped out of a little hole. Mm. Um, black China, Black China. What's your uh, What's your email, bro? I'm not ready. Is it, is it got it. Oh, I there you send, I send on the link. That boy. Black so China, why couldn't you find why couldn't you find the, the shit on Patreon? Because it says your account's under review. God damn it. Why is it only for certain people? Fuck, man. What the motherfucker, son of a fuck. Fuck. I agree, Sonny. Son of a fuck. Yeah. What the fuck, Kimmy? Help me out, man. Uh, I they're right there. I, I, don't, shit, you I, got, don't have... I can't believe they suspended you. Like, did you get the initial email a long time ago and just brush it off, or no, what? I, what I happened? Didn't check that email address. So maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, because because someone out, well, another reviewer, you know, he said in there he got the notice back in December. So it might have been, you know, you you like got the notice a long time ago, and that's why. Because they told me yeah, I had. Bad limited number of days to fix it and or they would shut down my account so as soon as i got the email i went in and like fixed shit and emailed them back well let me let me see let me see action required um i got it exactly five days ago the first the first email oh that and see that's it, when i got yeah, mine fine. you I'm got like, yours the same time oh, I got no, no, mine. No, 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 no. i got mine nine days ago september 12th says hi there I, uh, I'm on the trust and safety teammate Patreon. I checked your account. Seems like there was some conflict in our terms and use. We've taken a harder line against reward levels involving raffles, giveaways, chances to win for gambling, basically, with state gambling laws. Um, and that was nine days ago. And there was nothing at all whatsoever about... Um, it says, we kindly ask you to revise and remove the giveaway and raffle aspect from the rewards. Once done, kindly let us know. Should there be anything else, free feel the mess feel free to message us. Um, and I did, and I did, you know, I did, uh, it and then he sent a second email um, five days or four days afterwards, and I replied immediately. Wow, so they didn't even give you a chance to go and correct it. Oh, uh, he sent one five days ago, um, and it says, I haven't heard back from you if you have any questions regarding this email, and I, and I did, I emailed him back, and I haven't heard anything back from him now. And I, okay, uh, but I gotcha. emailed four days after his secondary email. Fuck, and it's dumb because I got motherfucker, son of a cunt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they should have given you more time. I think that I mean that's less than two weeks. People got shit they're doing, and you know that's just messed up. That he did in four days, and he's like, "All right, I haven't heard from the guy. Let's shut it down." I mean, that's that's. That's wrong.
I yeah. agree. Um, I, yeah, I would get, I would, I would definitely get some of her contacts. Maybe get some nice help. Everybody, Ray, you need to mute yourself, dog. What's going on? All I hear is the fastest typing I've ever heard in my entire life. It sounds like a fucking Dexter's Laboratory nerd fest. That's my that, my keyboard has that like computer. It's a like that like keyboard. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, so I'm emailing Carl one more time. I said, "Hey, Carl, I apologize about the delay in my response. I don't frequently check this email. However, I will now. I have revised the." The what the fuck was the word they used? La, I have revised the level, the the levels, the level benefits. Revise the level benefits to no longer. Uh, I revise the level benefits in accordance guidelines. Yeah, I got a female that contacted me. Maybe that's why I'm left. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe My that's she's a little more patient than the guy was. I don't know. Yeah, he, but, uh, why, but apparently you gotta have a feet feet. Yeah, we have to have a I got hey, I invented that. Um <laughs> I have revised the level be, level benefits. No, I revised the benefits in accordance with the guidelines. Uh benefits to be in the accordance, right? I've revised the tiers. Um okay, I revised the tier benefits. Yeah, I put I I um yeah, I put I had revised both my tier benefits and all posts to remove giveaway Sincerely. words containing giveaway raffle etc. And then it was like, "Okay, cool." She I just got her email today. It does take them like 3 days to email you back. Right, but the I, first I, email... I messaged them like a month ago. Oh no, it was a day ago. Never mind. Fuck, it was oh. yesterday. I was about to say, get your story straight. I, I'm, I'm, so so, I'm so impatient. So <laughs> impatient. I, I emailed him. Yes, you are. I bet oh. Mandy gives you sex like every every day, but no. because it's only once a day, you're like, man, it's been months since Mandy. Mandy keeping that. Shit no, up. it's no. You can ask her. It's it's like she. It, it's not what we the contract said when I first met her. The contract. contract. Damn, you use the contract too. That's what my boyfriend says. The yep. contract. Mind you, I call him my boyfriend because we're not married, but we've been together 10 years. So, you know. Jeez, but yeah, he's always pulling the contract out on me. Yeah. Uh, I sincerely apologize for the delay. Thank you for the chance to correct this mistake. Please have someone suck a penis. <laughs> Nobody's saying it. She Rob going to sleep. Where's your Cassandra at, bro? She's upstairs. What's she doing? Sleeping. It's not even like it's like 4 p.m. over there, isn't it? It's nine. She usually goes to bed pretty early. See, she's ready to go. I, I gotta be up at I gotta be up at six before six tomorrow. Okay, so I emailed him again after after okay, so I thought I emailed him days ago. It turns out I emailed him yesterday. And it's the weekend, so they ain't gonna get. I bet you they don't work weekends. Oh, fuck. So, I fucking just got approved my truck loan, man. I fucking. Ah, that sucks. Yeah, you ain't like, gonna hear anything back till Monday. I mean, saving, it's the weekend. I've been scrimping and saving up fucking stacks, stacks of cash to get this fucking truck. And I got the last part of it in a loan. And I, I fucking, I fucking, I fucking have a fucking. Fuck, Kimmy. I'm sorry. It's all, it is all I want to fix it for you. Like, I wish I could just go in there and, like, do it. No, you know. Does anybody in the chat room know how to hack? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's I, ain't said, I, ain't, I ain't associated with that. Next thing we know, that. everything's down. <laughs> yeah. Iraq, what were you going to say, bro? I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm just saying, you know, it's all good. You, you, you've done business with them. That, that yeah. I don't see them. You're good. You're good. They're way fucking nicer than YouTube. That's for sure. I'll right. tell you what. YouTube doesn't give no warnings. They're like, yo, nope. your shit sucks. Deuces. Yep. It's that simple. 
That's why I'm so scared. Why do you think I don't do shit on my channel? Everybody, like, I got China asking me why I don't put their links. I got all this. I'm like, no. I'm like, you need I ain't to take a thousand dollars give link. Me, right? I'm like, nah. I ain't risking it. I, I like my all channel. The links. Yeah. I'm like, me you know too. what? Even if, even if this wasn't my job, I would still be doing it, and I still want it to exist. And as fucked up as yep. a lot of my first videos were, someday my kids are going to look back like, damn, that was dumb and funny. <laughs> right you, know you won't even have to when you're old and senile you won't even have to tell them the stories just give them a link to youtube <laughs> and there's all your stories i save i save all my snapchats i save all my instagrams i fucking i tell those boys i'm like hey. and that both of them want to be youtubers and i'm like you know what you guys it's my youngest rocky especially my oldest is a fucking hardcore gamer my youngest is just he was like me he likes to just hit things and and make messes and do jumps so oh, can... speaking of kids and YouTube, so I'm in a I'm in a hard spot, and I like I don't know what to yeah, do. So I have I have a son and a daughter. I've let my son post on YouTube before with his friends. They do gaming, and one of his friends has a gaming channel, and I forgot that I had let my son. I don't. My daughter might be still be awake. I had forgot that I had let my son do that well my daughter come to me and she wants to start a youtube channel and she wants to be a youtuber and i told her no and she got mad and she was like but you let david do it and oh shit and I'm, I'm messed up because she's a girl she's my daughter like it was different because it's like my son with his homies they're playing video games it's just commentary you know you don't you don't see them you hear them and what you see is the game and I'm so protective of my daughter. Like I'm like, no. <laughs> I get you. I get, so, I can't. I, if I had daughters, I'd have a lot more. I've had. I would have seven guns per daughter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, I of- like double standards are real, and they exist for a reason. Like it, yes, they I used do. to think that. I used to think when I was like, because I have a brother, and I used to think my dad was. It was so messed up that my dad would let my brother do stuff that I wasn't allowed to do. And now, as a parent and having a son and daughter, no double standards exist for a reason. When you're a parent and you have a daughter, like hey, I my got daughter, the, is my world. I got double I mean, standards for for my. They're both boys. I Rocky, you have to wear a helmet. Yeah, there's. Yeah. Rock, Rocky's Rocky's like me. He's he's head head trauma prone and dangerous as fuck. Where Lil Nas, he's he played video games. He doesn't need a helmet. I, yeah. Rocky needs a helmet just walking down the steps. That motherfucker <laughs> crazy. Jumps off shit. He's like, Daddy, watch this. If my heart drops. If I if I'm looking this way and I'm in the garage and all I hear is kink, dad, watch this. I'm like, oh, just don't. Just whatever you're about to do, please stop. Somehow oh, I, I feel like that you you probably said that as a kid as well. Hey, watch oh, this. You yeah. know? <laughs> uh so I've got a really big scar up here and I got a big scar right here, right in this region. See where it's wrinkly. So I told my aunt Alicia, I'm like, hey, aunt, that's the first memory of me doing dumb shit. I was Rocky's age or a little younger, maybe four or five. Aunt Alicia, watch this. We live in the middle of nowhere on a dirt road, and the dirt road has a 45 degree incline. And my older brother's built a pretty big ass ramp, and I fucking got rock stuck inside and up my my skull cap, my it's the skin underneath my skull. I, there's some of them are still there. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys so much in the butt. Fuck you guys. <laughs> but no elbow grease. Oh shit. Harvey Dent said I let my son have a YouTube channel until I saw him posting that me and his mom was in the show. Right? Like huh? I question, like sometimes I see these kids because they're all over YouTube. Like they don't have a lot of subscribers or anything, but there's kids posting all kinds of crazy shit that I I would be whooping my kids ass. That's the other reason. Like, I'm not cool with letting my kids be on YouTube. One, I don't want them exposed. Like, I don't want the, I don't want people. There are creeps. There are some creepy people on the internet, and I don't want my children exposed. No, to those look, seriously, have you met hey, Ray? You want to get scared? All you gotta do is <laughs> say it. But Two. Kids don't have filters. Like, they their brains are not formed yet. They don't know that there's certain 
you know, some things are socially acceptable to share. And like, that's like, you know, perfect example, what Harvey said about what his, his kids shared, his kids shared that on the internet. I was lucky. My kid didn't share that on the internet. He shared it at school, but yeah, like mommy, you know, this is what my son in, I think he was in second grade told his teacher, my mommy has weird dreams. Cause she moans in her sleep. <laughs> Because my son was asking me what the sounds were if I was okay one night. And I was like, it's okay. Mommy was just having a bad dream. I make those sounds in my sleep. And he goes and tells his, he tells his teacher, his kids, does your mommy moan in her sleep too? I'm like, no. <laughs> Not cool. Can't can't share everything you want. You know? Ninja sex time. That's, yes. That is some. That is some epic. That is some epic. Hey, my ninjas, I got to bring Manny to work in the morning because we got to take off together later in the day. All right. We got to go to bed. Yeah. Gotta, it's almost midnight here. It's I think I'm going to go live on my channel tonight. Maybe. What the fuck time do you go to bed? Come on. Weekend? I have, I have insomnia. So it's like. So you just don't have really? to sleep? To oh, my body has to, but Ray like, I have insomnia. Yeah. That motherfucker falls asleep standing up. For me? Yeah. No, I do. Two o'clock in the morning, sir. Two, two thirty. Morning. Don't you remember the times where I would where I would be like hitting you up on uh on Instagram or yes. whatever and you you're just getting up and I'm just going to bed? Yes. <laughs> that's yes. because I was up at two in the morning, man. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Like that. I my ass wakes up at five thirty. I got five and a half hours of sleep ahead of me and I'm excited for it. Yeah, but look, uh uh, Kimmy, uh, wish you the best of luck in the charity. Yes. Uh, Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, hopefully I can get something together. It's just something that I decided that's what I want to do before the end of the year. That's it's good, weird though. when you go off these kind of medications and the emotions that you feel and that come back, because all that shit numbs you. Like, that's part of why it works is because it numbs you and it keeps you like in a fog. So that when you come off these medications, like all these emotions come back up and well up. And then you're like really overly emotive and just always like, I haven't probably really cried in three years. And today I cried for hours and just like bawled like a baby cried. But I Sad. needed it. My body needed it. Sad. I'm sorry to hear that. But that's, yeah, let's not go back into that. This was super yeah. fun. Thank you, Thesis. You're for welcome. sending me a leak. I love it. Love you guys. You guys are Absolutely. awesome. Show sure, tell everyone where you can find you. Uh, oh, shit. You put me on spot. See, I hate doing this part. Um, I'm <laughs> Kimmy Vapes on YouTube. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> you can find her at I'm a sneeze off shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I had a sneeze there. So Kimmy Vapes on YouTube. Kimmy underscore Vapes on Instagram. Uh, Kimmy Vapes or Kimmy Vape to find me on Facebook. Um, yeah, that's where you can find me. Oh, I'm Kimmy Vapes on Twitter. Patreon. That's where I'm at. Patreon, if you, you'll find that stuff through all my other stuff. So, But yeah, if you guys are interested, check me out. I do YouTube reviews on vape stuff. I do advocacy, all that kind of stuff. Iraq, where can they find you at, bro? Uh, here in the garage. All right. Damn time. <laughs> How hot is it there right now? Um, it's actually not that bad now. It's uh, right now it is 84 degrees. Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> at 10 o'clock at night. It's 48 right now. Yeah. yeah, you should have been a few few weeks ago when it was 113. Uh, Let's see. But no, when he can. Um, the only thing I got, uh, the only two things I got is um, and uh, yeah. yeah, give me. You already know this, but I haven't recorded video in a good six months, but. I have a channel on YouTube, Eat Rock Vapes, and I do have a Facebook page as well, Eat Rock Vapes. So. It's, it's, that's dope as fuck, bro. It's seven degrees Celsius right now. It's, uh, it's 45 on the button Fahrenheit. Yeah. You know, the tornado forward. outside his house. Yeah. I'm looking forward <laughs> that was to going yesterday. Cincinnati. Cincinnati is supposed to be like high, of, high of 63, low of 48. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's that's just wait, just wait. Give it about a week, and we'll be down into the twenties. Uh, the only thing I don't like is it's supposed to be sixty six percent humidity 
which makes it kind of kind of hard to breathe. Um, bro, come to Minnesota. We have over we have over eleven thousand lakes. It is like a swamp. So the the one nice thing about Vegas, I will say, it's hot, but I can breathe just fine. Yep. Minnesota, it could be sixty degrees and it'll be a hundred percent humidity, and it's fucking rough. Um, let's see, Ray. Where can we find you at, bro? Instagram, are you four six m two? How are you the only uh, person Instagram. with that name? Because I made it up. <laughs> you just no, made it up. A, if, no, no. Uh, okay, so the forty six and two comes from a tool song, a band called Tool. It's called forty six and two because it's like the evolutionary scale. Uh, caveman's um, forty two and two. We're uh, forty four and two. And the next evolutionary scale is forty six and two. So my name is like a question. Is it? It's like, are you? 46 and 2, the next evolutionary scale. Uh, this is somewhere around 30 or 20. Yeah. I'm... What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you 46 and 2? <gasps> yeah. Bro, you're a fucking G. You're like, ah, that's. I've point. had it for years, dude. I've had it for years. I know. I've never. That's why, been I, sound like, uh, that's why I sound like that. Yeah. But I feel like when you guys call me R2D2, it's nice. Yeah. It's R2D2. That's as far as I'm concerned. Because I love, love R2D2. I thought RU4 is three. I thought four, that was. Yep. Yeah, I, th- I thought RU4 six and two was. Uh, I thought that was the new name of the new R2D2. No. So mm-hmm. this whole time I thought you were the only person. You were the first person who got the Star Wars thing. Huh. I wish. That'd be yeah. awesome. Fuck, bro. I gotta watch that movie, I think. <laughs> I've never seen one. I gotta see Next it. time you guys come down, next when he comes down, me and you're gonna make you watch it. We're gonna tie you to the couch and make you watch it. All uh, of them. Isn't it like five? Well, hours? The first, well, the first three. We'll watch New yeah. Hope. It's okay. You had him at tying down. He's good. Yeah. As long as it's, <laughs> if there's blowjays in fact, I'll watch whatever. I'll, I'll get you a epidermis light. Epidermis light, I like that. That's that flashlight. But no, I uh, I do want to say thank you for for having us on. It, it was yeah. been a blast. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. More than welcome. All right, my ninja kitties. You can always find me at at thesis himself on everything, except for on YouTube. It's vaping with thesis. Obviously, you're here, so you can see that shit. My ninja kitties. Let's do this outro official, okay? Mm. This whole case, Mother Truck, is now with that being said, I want to tell you that I appreciate y'all for vaping with thesis. Here's your boy thesis. I'm out. Mm.